Welcome back to everybody watching, listening. I was thinking about it like there is nothing stopping me and you from actually Proddy. Do you think Proddy, like, together. If, if, if we were in this room, we locked the door, could we you? Um, I reckon no, actually. We could, we oh, could. No, because Proddy, could. Proddy no, got a vicious, first nah, of all, you should be firm. You give me the kind of like scratch and pinch energy. I'll so pull like, your hair. <laughs> <laughs> so Anyways, I look, scratch and pinch. I'd be against you, I feel. All right, look. Not you, Chip. I'll just say me and I'm Chip. So me, me and Chip might not be able to defeat you, but if we added a third into the mix, yeah, we might be able to. Especially who do you third. reckon? Who do, who do we need in as a third to, I don't to know. We mess Proddy up? We need we need someone with Tory energy. Yeah, somebody. But then it's with two deep Tories pockets. versus two Tories. I'm not a Tory. I'm well, fucking. Let's I'm, find out who S our third contestant is going to be to kill Proddy. Da -da 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 -da! It is none other than Rufus Rice. Hey! What's that? Like what he's come from a school what, trip. That's um. Yo, uh, that he is looks very such a college boy right now. The backwards cap with the. What's with up, the everybody? <laughs> I'm coming out as a frat legend. Yeah, I'm back. You yeah. actually are back. You look like you've lost weight. Have you lost weight? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. Not by not by like deliberately, just by sort of under eating. I think. Yes. Under or drugs. Party. Cocaine is or a drugs. massive yeah. driver. I don't do for weight loss. No. I, don't everyone know. is convinced that I am a major baghead. No. <clears throat> Whereas that like, couldn't be further from the truth. I'm an anti-drug advocate. I live a completely different life from what is portrayed on social media, and that's not even a joke. Really? So wait. I'm, so I'm you like don't. Monk. So so you vote Labour. I, I am a member of the Labour Party. You I, I, like I, men? No. no uh, it doesn't extend that far. Okay, right. That was yeah, one yeah. step too far, was it? Yeah. But yeah. I, I live a clean and monastic life. I don't, I do not, I'm not, I'm done with casual sex. Yeah. What? Yeah. You really? like meaningful sex. Like what is that. meaningful oh, sex? I've, ch I've changed up. I'm now, I now, now I only do business casual sex. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. Like Christian so like, Horner just railing your assistant. No, no. So I just, I just, I do things t f to further my career. That's okay. That's what. That's why. Like, why uh, I'll do yeah. it. Not just for casual flings anymore. No, and no. I've been saying. I said that's a proddy. <laughs> yeah, we've been we've been telling proddy for ages. Like you got to put <laughs> your personal relationship to the side yeah. and just start if you having grow business sex. In the, yeah, if you want to grow, what, what are you saying? You want me to fuck you? No, no. <laughs> I'm just saying a little favor. Here and there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know what they say? A, a little, a little bit of dome has never ruined a workplace. Relationship. What, yes. they, did they say that? Yeah, I think so. Well, there you go, Prod. Fucking hell. Yeah. You, said, you said he wanted to be a CEO one day. I Fuckers. think if I walked, like, if I walked into the office one day, and you know, let's just say, like, Stanners was just getting topped off by, you know, Proddy, Proddy, for example. Yeah. I, I don't think I don't think I would feel weird about it. I could I could totally I could get that. I could get on could board you, with that sort of, of yeah. workplace. Would you walk past that? And think, oh, fair enough. I think you'd have to help out. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you want me to join in? Is oh, that what you're saying? Shit. Well, yeah. give us a helping so hand. So if I just walk past that, what would I do if I just walk past you getting your nub sucked? Or like, you know, lunch break, somebody's just getting ragged on that sofa upstairs, you know, like. Yeah. I think, I think it would boost workplace morale. What, instead of like lunch and learns, it's like pork and learns. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pork scratchings. What? I don't know. I'm you just say, you know, this is your problem, you know. Sometimes you just say I've shit. I've got ADHD. Like, like it, it, it doesn't even mean anything. It doesn't mean anything, but it. Like, how does pork scratchings even come well, you into know your what? head? I think pork scratchings is what you get when the girls with fake nails, like, dig into your back. Ooh, yeah. yeah. There's those, like, those battle wounds, oh, when you, those scars. When you're going so hard, a little bit start falling off. On what? <laughs> going so hard on what? What? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know <laughs> when you're hitting it really hard, <laughs> well, and bits start falling off. Off of what? What are what you bit? having sex with? Falling off or falling out? Are you shagging a grater? <laughs> 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 what her dry vagina just oh. peels bit, wait, bit, as yeah, you bit, batter bits it. of what? I don't know. Like dead where skin. are you? <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck is he's, going on? He's lost the plot, yeah, he's, you know. He's a nursing home veteran. <laughs> <laughs> what a start to the pod, anyway. Well, there's your port scratchings, by the way. I came, I came on here to change my brand and my image, and it, <laughs> we, it hasn't been, pod. it hasn't been a good start. If I'm totally honest, yes. I wanted to show people that I'm a clean, 
honest guy who um, is like just very respectable. Yeah. And it hasn't worked so far. So I'm hoping yeah. we can change. Well, that you've up. just buried Chip's career. So I appreciate yeah, that. You've come on to the fellas podcast to do that. <laughs> well, yeah. I, thought be, I thought it'd be a good opportunity for me to like open myself up to a new demographic. <laughs> I, I would have looked at Stephen Bartlett or a podcast like that to, to achieve that. I feel like coming on here just further digs your grave. Yeah. People uh, come on here when they're finished. We are like, <laughs> we are like the celebrity big brother of TV shows. Yeah. yeah. Like you come on here for one final paycheck. Mate, it's so sad when you see the dwindling stars, like the former greats, and suddenly they have to eat like ostrich penis in Australia. Yeah. And you're like, mate, you used to rule the you used to rule the no, world. No, but mate. I'm a celebs held in high regard though. Yeah. So I, don't, I, don't it? It. I don't hold to it. Those I don't people. Out, of it all, out of all yeah. of them, I'm a celeb is probably the top one. That mate, that's like living that is like living in the best house in a slum. <laughs> like it's held in high regard out of those programs which are held in the lowest regard I'm actually with well you on that. Nigel Farage went in there and I'd say he came out of it net plus where's he now yeah but but what are you talking about Nigel Farage is going to be our prime minister at some he's point, making a it? comeback right? yeah you do something called top fives yeah and I've, I actually invented this concept so I make a <laughs> list I choose a category and then I make a list of the best five things in that category yeah, and yeah. nobody has ever done it before and you've just come in, you found your niche. Um, that and parody songs. Yeah, that's um, what I'm on at the I'm moment. Uh, yeah, there. it's impressive. I'm surprised. I don't want this to come across it, but I'm surprised you're that talented. Thank because, you. Because, you know, but, if I were to just stick to the conversations that we've had, yeah. I just wouldn't assume you had that in the locker. This is a debate that rages between me and my parents because I started out just making dick jokes and I love dick jokes. And I don't want to give up dick jokes. Yeah. But they were like, you need to evolve, man. Like a Pokemon. Yeah. And, um, I, but I, I can't quite leave the dick jokes behind. I like, I like them too much. I, I'm trying to be a multi-sport athlete. You know, I'm trying to do yeah. tunes and dick jokes. And it's working. Both work. it's working. It's working. At the moment, we're, we're, it's a comfy place. You did a Madeline McCann tune. I did a Madeline Mc McCann tune. And the thing is, a lot of my tunes have been taken down because they breached TikTok terms of service. Right. Like I made a song about Stephen Hawking that got taken down because apparently I was bullying Stephen Hawking. He's dead. You can't Tough bully one. a dead person. That's what I said. I looked up the slander. I looked up libel and yeah. slander laws in this country. You can't slander a dead person. But what? I thought you could slander a dead person. No, you can't. You can't. Oh. You can't. Oh shit! I thought I thought I was going to be. I thought that was gravy. You know, I thought I was going to be good yeah. on that one. But they took that down. Appeal the rejected. Thing about the Maddie McCann tune is. I took that down because I am the exact same age as Maddie McCann. So what? Yes. So I, we're in the same school year. Holy that is shit. such like a weird thing yeah. to think about. You never so, realize. so like all, my parents are really cool about everything. Like all jokes are fine. Maddie McCann is off the table. What with your parents? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because like it's hit so close to home when that story happened. It's just a no go. Like what? They had funny. that plan too or what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? But so wait, they were really not cool with you. My my mum, like she's she's totally good with any anything. Like on, like I make terrorist jokes. I made a song about Osama bin Laden. She was like, "This is yeah. great." Uh, but it draws the line at Maddie McCann. Just Maddie McCann. T totally unacceptable. So what side of the fence does she s sit on? Oh, what, like, about what happened? Yeah, but does she believe that it was the maker? Surely not. If she no, I don't think I don't think she does. I think she's sort of stuck in the mindset of being like, oh, how horrible. Imagine if that was happening to your kid. And like, we were, we were living in England at that time. I was, yeah. we were going on holidays fairly similar to that. So she was like, you know, it books you out. It's yeah. like going to Afghanistan and coming back and you're a changed, changed person. Yeah, I'm sure it's just like that. Yeah. Why, why would you be changed after Afghanistan? You go like PTSD uh, and suddenly, oh. suddenly like jokes about being sent to Afghanistan aren't quite as funny. Yeah, they don't hit right. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Okay, no, I can totally understand that. Um, you done a, a recent one with J, uh, a JFK song as well. I, w which yeah. would you say is your best jingle? Which one are you most proud of? Oh, for me, for me, it's got to be got to be Stephen Hawking, which is I did a yeah. uh, one about him to the tune of Teenage Dream by mm. Katy Perry, because obviously he was found to be up to a bit of naughty business on his holidays. Yeah. I have so many questions about Stephen Hawking going to Epstein. Well, you know. can ask me them. Yeah. I'll probably know the answer. Does this knob work? Yeah, oh, wow. it does. It does. <laughs> you have, sure? you, have you watched the documentary about him? So, no. That's a good uh, the Theory of Everything. I'm not sure that's a documentary. <laughs> Is it a film? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. No, well, yeah, what? okay. Whatever. So, what so his, knob, his knob does work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You press a button and it... Yeah, the rest of him doesn't work. 
Yeah, no. how's, how's he cutting about? He cheated on his missus. How? Stephen yeah, Hawking. he did. He cheated on his missus. But yeah. how though? Dirty dog. What, whilst he was like the... <coughs> he got the... Um, it's an emotional adultery, movie, you know? Adultery DLC. Yeah, <laughs> he did. That's a crazy little comment you just made there, pal. It's, That's it's, a TikTok comment, that. He must have <laughs> incredible personality because I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to be offensive to any people with disabilities out there or anything, but like what... How many girls are cutting about being like, oh, would, Stephen Hawking's such a sort. Like, I would love to, <laughs> you know, love to ho- no, hobble up on attra- that. They're attracted to his intelligence. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, he must so have... So that intelligence riz is different. But his, his chat is... Well, he's impacted because it's pretty slow. It's monotone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not it's, much emotion in the voice. Nah, I just while, feel like he doesn't have loads of charisma. But whilst they're certain him, they're like, damn, this guy's <laughs> like the smartest guy alive. I'm hitting that. Yeah. Like, that would get me going that... Like, to be honest, I, I would agree. If you can say like I've been porked by the world, I, sm- I, one of the world. I feel like you'd have to, you'd have man. to, <laughs> you'd have to move back. Like you have to move it back on him though. Like I feel like he's not his stroke game is subpar. Is what how? I'm yeah, how, I, oh, mate, it's fucking up my head. How's he doing any of it? But what? you could say that about this is about anybody in a wheelchair though, right? Well, well, no, because really? he's he's, he's actually really like fully it. paralyzed. He yeah. is. Yeah, he hasn't really. just got like dodgy dodgy legs or something. It was the full shebang, wasn't it? He's got everything. What can he move? Just his fingers. His, isn't it just like oh, his eyes? All right. Well, we, we've got an answer to can Stephen Hawking do sex? Or, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do sex. Can, can do Stephen Hawking uh, pork a bird? He said, no, his wife didn't just sit on him when making a child. He did something called artificial fertilization. As far as I know, he hasn't had real sexual intercourse since he was paralyzed in his wheelchair. Oh, that's kind of sad. So he might uh, have died a virgin. No, 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 no. Because no. he wasn't always yeah. paralyzed. Yeah, but bro, he was like he, he was, was like, a neek. That's he was right. like he was like first year of uni and very neeky. And I know people that aren't neeky that lost it first year of uni. Like because that's awful logic. It, of course, no, no, Stephen. No, it's Hawk, not awful logic. It of course, is. it's not. Of course, Stephen Hawking's port birds. No, I'm sorry. There's a huge, huge Type chance that he's Stephen a Hawking virginity. What do you think he was doing on the island? I think. Hold up. I think it's 50 50. I'm actually might be with Proddy here because if he's saying first year of uni and Stephen yeah, Hawking is a over. bit of a nerd, there's here we a go. good chance. Literally, top one on Reddit did Stephen Hawking die a virgin? Yeah, here we pretty go. sure. That's not conclusive. No. Wait, yeah, he's got he's got three kids, but, but we're talking about artificial insemination. They're artificial yeah. kids, right? Yeah. So. They're not artificial kids, they're real kids. No, sorry. Yeah, they're, artificial. <laughs> they're not AI. <laughs> the, the sperm is artificially inserted. But you scroll down, let's see some Hold more on, about the comments. Let's hear some theories here. Kids. No, he had three children. All born before he was confined to a wheelchair in the late right 1960s. Yeah, so he was, okay, get, so he was yeah. getting after it. He was, so he like, was getting after <laughs> it. <laughs> but you know, in the biopic, he trips over and hits his head. And that's I, what... I don't have know. you not watched well, it? I've watched it. Yeah, it's good. He like trips a... over, hits his head. That's He has the scan. That's how they find out he's got... Mm. A, is it ALS? Yeah. Yeah. They did and the ice bucket challenge for him. Oh, shit. ALS yeah. ice bucket challenge. I remember that. I did it, you know. <laughs> I did the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah mate, you, you helped him out. You you actually helped out, and he's now now he's been revealed as an offender. No, he wasn't even. He was on the island for business, man. He was having business casual. He was having business casual. Do you think what was what was he doing? Delivering a TED talk? Yeah, it was just one of those things, you know. It, he might have been there for the sun. Yeah, but you don't, you can go to you know you can go to Benidorm. I'm sure he would have loved that. That's the thing about See the island. Vicky. It's got a bad rep, but. It could. It is just a holiday destination as well. It isn't though for for the rich. No, it's it. Well, not all of them were nonsense, were they? Or were they? Mm, well, that's right, the depends. Thing. Depends what really you believe. Like, obviously, you've got good. the list, but that doesn't mean any of them did anything. Yeah, yeah. Naomi Campbell was on the ropes for a little while. Like. That's what I mean. Like fucking uh, Callum Hudson was out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, he was just on. Wait, did you see? He had to come the out with a, yes. uh, like a like a statement, Poor being like, guy. "By the way, I'm not actually on the list." <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really so ridiculous. I feel, oh, you know that. what? We should have dropped something like that just as a heads up, like the fellas were not. Like Ethan Payne. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chaps, I brought you a present, by the way. Oh, yes, please. I um I didn't just come looking like I'm ready for school uh for nothing. I have got a present for you in this backpack. How old are you? Yes. I oh, yeah. how old are you? I'm 21 years of age. Wait, really? Yeah. Congratulations. I thought you were a little bit older than that for some reason. Congratulations. No, I think that's you know, 21's a big age. 21 is a big age, but I've I've had like my last like big birthday, 21, before like the 30. Uh, before the 30. Yeah. So like Damn, but, I'm having my Anyways, what are these yeah. presents? What you got for anyway, me? Anyway, so one. recently I started a drinks company. Ooh, okay. okay. Called Toxin. And basically the idea Sounds healthy. 
it actually looks toxic. Ten percent. The it, idea is ten percent. Yeah, I'm they're all, like I'm nice, good. nice fruity drinks, good flavors, good. but they're double the strength of a normal bev. And this is legal. Yes, these these are legal, and you can buy them on www.toxindrinks.co.uk. Right, well, let Sounds me, like the let me try. Wait, wait, what flavors you got for me? Here? Uh, so that one's a margarita, so it's all tequila lime that's thing. You. That's mojito. That's mint. Oh, I could be on that one. And, and that one? that one's a cosmopolitan, so sort of what vodka, want, vodka cranberry. I mean, are you going to let me actually choose? Yeah, take can it. I have the mojito? Yeah, sure. Take that. Oh, you love quite, a mojito. You're actually quite nice, okay. Kyle, when you want to be. Lovely stuff. <laughs> So yeah, we launched we launched these the other one and uh, there this, um, the other way, day. I am gonna give you an honest review here. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. fine, absolutely. Just gonna fine. say, did you do this on your own? You work, you got a partner, or was, what, what was the sitch? It was, it was it's a collaborative collaborative ordeal. So um, we're between me and some investors. I like it. So me, and, paint thinner. me and a shady group of Saudi investors <laughs> just came, came together to release this. It smells. I tell you what, it does taste like a mojito. That's it, good. That's good. That though, it's one of the things we're aiming for. Tastes quite strong. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is this, so strong. This is man. strong. This, this. You know what? You know when you go to America, there are these like twelve percent ciders or, or like drinks you can buy out of the fridge, and and like homeless people normally get them because they get you fucked. Yeah, the alcoholic. Mate, I'm not gonna drink, like yeah. this. Will actually Zing, blow baby. your top off. Yeah, yeah. What's the percentage on that? Ten. Ooh. Ten. So, so the, oh my fucking the, the yellow and the pink ones what, are though, ten, and that one honestly 8%. though, yeah. I can drink that. Yeah, and let back me, in my let, day, let, I would have. Let me this. tell you about this, right? I've had better tasting um, alcoholic drinks. Okay, but if someone told me, right, get some drinks for pre-drinks. Yeah. I'm getting this ten percent. Yeah, that's good. I get some money. two, two, two of these, and I'm probably sorted for a night. I reckon I, I this is very strong. So like, yeah, they're just, they're just designed for, for lash basically like pre's behavior. Proper use. How, how much Proper uh, does one cost me? So if you, if you buy them, like uh, the, if you buy a case, they're two pounds 70 a can, like they're cost, of, cost effective as well. Is yeah, that yeah. a good price? For yeah, that is decent. That, yeah. that is yeah. decent. But, so well, mate, thank you for bringing them. And yeah, thank you. I will get through the end of this by today. Cause I'm actually off to, uh, Grace's uh, tour after this. I've had two sips and I feel. I'm, fe I'm feeling a little bit. Look, what? Just you already? You said just you weren't one drinking. You, you told me you'd anymore. given up drinking. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't drunk for a while. Um, just because we've been bloody busy, and um, I'm on crippling antibiotics. So I'll get acute really. pancreatitis if I do, and I don't really want that. No. So I'm having like two sips of this. Is that not what Avicii had? I Avicii had, he had I thought he committed suicide. No, 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 he did. No, no, no. But he had, so the story about Avicii is yeah. I think he had like an acute alcohol disease, right? And it was like absolutely taking a toll on him, but his manager kept booking him for shows yeah. relentlessly. And then because of that, at the end of it, he was like, I just can't hack it. And it's like Cal the Dragon and his dad. That is literally what you've got. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't have pancreas. I, that's what I get, get if I drink. Uh, what is yeah. it? Yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna have to be honest. I don't really know much about. Yeah, that's true. I don't really know much about that. What is that? Pancreatitis. Yeah, I don't know, but it's not good. It's v How if you, if you it watch the documentary. You, what does it do the to you? the weird thing about Avicii's documentary, while we're on yeah. the topic of that, is it went up and it was so hard to find a place to watch it. I had to watch it through some dodgy link, and then that link got taken. It was like no, they didn't want anyone to actually watch it, but. Um, yeah, he ends up with this acute pancreatitis and in the hospital, you can see him literally in agony and he's got to play a show that night and he like, he's in hospital. Oh man, it's absolutely fucked. Oh shit. So don't drink while on antibiotics. It is manager. Yeah, I, d I don't get how these people like, do it. like you, you hear about the stories of the old concert tours and stuff and they're all on heroin the whole time mate how are you playing a show after you've just like inject, well, have you ever injected taken heroin? black tar no i haven't so let's let's it let's be open I feel, like it, I feel like it would affect my performance i, I wouldn't have some before an exam let's just say that but you what don't is, you haven't and tried it yeah what is what's the feeling meant to be a very euphoric i thought you pass out i don't know i don't know I like know, train spotting they just we know fall what, asleep don't they we know what bag does. Are, are, are they actually bag. asleep or are they just like Yeah, but you can't perform like that though, yeah, that's, can you? That's what I mean. I don't know how they were all just like, they were all, they were on everything as well. They were all just like smoking meth before gigs and stuff. Mm. I can't hell. even, I can't even have a, a pint before. I know someone who accidentally did meth. Um, in, who accidentally did they meth? They accidentally did meth Chip, uh, accidentally when they were in Thailand. Meth. When? They, they went I to Thailand wish. or they were traveling or something. They bought ketamine, what they thought was ketamine. 
and um, it was all in like sort of fine crystals, looked very similar to ketamine. Yeah. And um, they did like a bump of it and they were up for like 17 hours. A corner, like Like nuts. Yeah. What was the name of the place? I don't know. I'll find out for you. Yeah, I mean, to I'm, be fair, like, I've been up off, I've been up 17 hours just off E numbers. No, so. it's in like the trip was set, like uh, the high was 17 uh, hours. Right. Okay. Yeah. That That's, sounds like an ordeal, but instead I'll drink this 10% toxin. You, you sound quite like, up for that though that what? ordeal I've, I've probably been there <laughs> <laughs> would you would you ever do any psychedelics um i mean so i went to the like mecca of psychedelics where's that which is amsterdam oh yeah but i was i was and i did like a bit but i was slightly disappointed because i wanted to see some shit you know you got to take the serious stuff to, to to get that experience you're I'm, talking I'm about. worried about it i think i'll come back with something i would be more worried about having some sort of like permanent change yeah, yeah. exactly like, like, i'm just coming back guy. And completely different and i'm just saying like this stinks you might be a bit different for the better bro yeah but th the thing is i think i would take it it's a weird one because you i would want to take it when i'm feeling like i hate myself but then i suppose if you take it when you feel like your health that's where you kill yourself Oh shit! So like, it's a bit of a catch twenty two that one. Yeah. Uh. Well, the best thing to do is just stay away from it. Or well, the ayahuasca. Yeah. Experience not really. down in South America. Ayahuasca. That's a great YouTube video. That. See, I I love to. I want I want the tribal stuff. Like I, you don't, I don't want to the jungle and do it. I don't want. I feel like that Amazon, uh, Amsterdam stuff is a bit manufactured. Commercialized. Yeah. I want to get out there into the wilderness and canoe down the Amazon mm. until I find some people who I'm not sure they might eat me or not. Yeah. I'm not sure what they're on, but maybe I can find a way to communicate with mm. them through grunts and pointing. And then... Well, have you seen the clip of a guy that rocks up to, uh, was it called Sentinel Island? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. And, and instantly they're like dashing spears at him and stuff. Yeah, I, I always thought that was Cap. No, I thought it was as well, but I think it's real. No, the reason, the reason they're so scared of white people is that they're, so they're not used to any of the diseases we have. Yeah. Mm. So like if a white person would come, they'd literally have a plague and they'd all die. Yeah, mm. kill the entire... Oh, island. really? It's illegal yeah. to go there. Um, I do always wonder about it's kind of like these uncontacted tribes like when they see a fucking helicopter or plane going over they must be like what the fuck is that I feel like the elders of the tribe must know how, but how would they know they must be passed down knowledge from just generations of maybe they, tribe. Do they think yeah. like helicopters are like gods because they that's what I'm thinking they, who's gonna know who's gonna have found out yeah because they've never been contacted it's true is that so the what size do they of it? Think? Mate, that's massive. Yeah, it's it huge. Yeah. There is, um, if you go on Google Maps, you might... I reckon Tribal Tinder goes crazy, though. Oh. <laughs> tribal Tinder. <laughs> do you know, yeah, how, do are you know they, what I mean? how are they hooking up over there? Oh, everyone's porking everyone like, what's, out there. What's the sitch? How do you... I reckon, I reckon, but I reckon I, I have things to offer them. Like, I reckon I could get in there and what, like, do, what, do well in the tribe. How are you getting in, though? You, you're giving energy where it's like a school shooter and you reckon you could stop them. This isn't you. How are you getting in there, guys? I'm different. <laughs> I'm, I can be one of you. Mate, I'm going to bring things from our modern world. What? Imagine, one, this, imagine one of these. This. They're KO. I bet, I bet yeah. gifts. <laughs> Mate, I, I'm going to bring things from the modern world. Like, imagine them hearing, hearing like, music for the first time. Well, they'll have their own. They're like, these are the voices from the gods. Like, yeah, but imagine li listening to, like, Dutty what? Jungle, like Fred again. Yeah, oh, fair. Yeah, that'd be a bit mental. <laughs> they'd, be, they'd be like, what are these crazy rhythms? Damn, like cosmic rhythms. By the way, that YouTube video, even though it's super illegal and it's unethical, that would do so millions and millions and what, millions. North Sentinel? Views. Yeah. I, I swear it. somebody's done it. I, you know, there's a, on Google Maps, there's a boat that crashed there ages ago. I think they killed everyone on it and stripped all the boat of all its metal, which is why they've got metal bows and metal arrows. Oh, damn. So they just leveled up. That's kind of like so, Minecraft. So it's yeah. almost yeah. like the community yeah. line. Mine yeah. the iron. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. If you go to North Central Island, probably you will actually be able to, to be go fair, satellite. Like, you'll be able to find it. It's top left, I think. To be fair, like if, if, anywhere, if anywhere was like, there was going to be another portal, I feel like it's got to be right there. Oh yeah. yeah. You're gonna have to zoom in more and more and more. It's a massive It's island. somewhere go down. Uh it's gonna be a little bit hard to find just doing it like this, but there is a boat around here. That's uh, awesome, and, man. And by the way, you have to zoom in more than that. Just Google okay. it, Prod, because it's interesting. Um but yeah, no, i uh I hope they they're all doing well. How many how many people are on the island? Anyone I know? would I would uh, if there, I were there, there aren't loads. Two thousand? At least they no, they, they might be many. having a population crisis. Japan have a population crisis at the moment. For they every are. um every two people yeah, that's the boat. That die, only one is born. So they're, they're literally halving their population. Yeah, it's not as you said, I feel like they're porking all day because they have 
they don't have like you know Nintendo Switch or anything. In in well, oh, on Sentinel, I thought we were talking about Japan. No, oh, Sen- like, Sen- they actually made that. Man. Sentinel Island, like they have no other forms of entertainment. They can't just watch the footy, yeah. so they got to be porking. Yeah, have to be. Yeah, um, and I, I feel like I'd be Whoa. constantly rock hard on. Hold on, forty pe- forty of them. Well, they reckon between forty and a hun- either forty or a hundred. There's no way there's only forty Donnies yeah. in there. Reckon they got a good RPM. <laughs> on what? On what? Just on what there. content? Just like if you've got a view from North Central Island, like it's India, so probably not. Yeah. Is that we, oh yeah, where in the world it's actually India. is North in, in, Indian 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 Ocean. Yeah. Of, it's an Indian territory as well, I believe. Yeah, yeah. That's fascinating. Damn. Yeah, did you hear about um the uh, Japan's gonna collapse essentially? I cease keep to exist. Seeing Elon Musk's tweets about um population. Well so Elon Musk has a has a big thing about uh, so Elon Musk has many kids and yep. his whole thing, I've heard him talk about it a, a number of times, is that he thinks that um, the population crisis is actually the most threatening thing to our... Well, there um, aren't going to be enough human. people. Yeah, there are too yeah. many. No, no, there aren't. We're, 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 we're not having enough kids. Hey, he needs to He needs to move to like Uganda and tell me tell me that we're not having enough kids. No, nah, I, 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 the stats are They're having like true. 50. We in, are not having enough kids. In really? some countries. No, in, in, in the majority of in countries. In the first world countries, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, primarily there. Yeah. Yeah, but like, you know, China, they had the, because they were overpopulating at one yeah. point and then it swapped over and now it's going in the wrong direction. Yeah, China are washed. They're done. Yeah. They're not going to be a global economic superpower forever. No. What makes you say that? Streets won't forget. Yeah, they, yeah they, they, the, streets the streets definitely won't forget won't. economy. Hmm. Um, I, I, I top, just, f- top five world economies, let's do it now. Okay, top Ooh, five yeah. world economies. Well, let's start yeah. at number five. Uh, four. I don't, I'm going to go this Russia in like at that, five. No, R- Russia don't get, don't get a top 10. It still has a power. Yeah, but we'll talk about not as a, not as an economy. Is this just purely the size of it? Um, no, just how, how cool their economy is. Like how sound is it? Russia's, well, I do is, a- Russia's is poor. Russia's is like farming. Yeah, yeah. It's They're Zimbabwe on the then. Yeah, Zim, big Zim, tobacco farmers out there. That's owned by China, anyways. Yeah, they do own most of Africa. I think. I, I mean, think obviously America and China are top two. Um, l- hear me out. America's having a low key stinker. Why? Mm. Like mean, they might have fallen off, you know. They're only the biggest Why economy in the world by what fifty percent. Yeah, but l- you look at it now and you just think, I'm seeing a few layoffs. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like who just somebody just got rid of six hundred EA Sports. Wait, yeah, you know six hundred gone. Sony just sat. To Nigeria are on the come up though. Nigeria, Massively. they're a big well, they're time. Let's right, put them. Look, in, let's don't look, actually. Let's put them in at four. Yeah, let's put them in at four. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Honorable mention: India. Honorable mention India. I I would eat, I w- I'd like them in my top five. Yeah, I think, I think India. I, I think I'd like India five. like maybe like a three or a two. Yeah, but it's quantity though. But if you think about like I, I'm I'm not too bothered about the uh, the distribution of wealth. Okay, so it's what, more what, so what just being about? there. Like you know what you lot of you've done your time. Like you're yeah. you're serious about this. And you know what? For the longest time, everyone was always there. Like ah, uh, you know, China's got like a billion people there. India have done their best to keep up. You know, I heard some mad fact about Saudi Arabia. You know, it was like yeah, bro. Saudi has to be top no, five. They, they own they, everything. They yeah. aren't top five. I remember because I saw they were like number thirty-four in the country, but they are like a hundred and thirtieth in the world in terms of population size as a country. Yeah. But they're like top thirty economies in the world per person. And they've got. Yeah. I like that ratio. Qatar, yeah. Qatar are crazy. Qatar like Singapore, Luxembourg are all like up there. Premium. Or premium. I, 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 I would say they are like like the Gucci of economies. We're talking mm. but anyway, you lot are sleeping on Uzbekistan. Who? Uzbekistan. Who she? Yeah. It's a country. <laughs> poor band of that. Yeah, poor band of that prod. Look at us. Man. GDP oh, growth. You rate that one. Saudi Arabia. Is, they, Uzbekistan, okay. oh, Uzbekistan is not even, it's like not even the best player on its own team. Like in, in the stands, it's not even up there. No, yeah. no. But top three stands though. No, it's definitely not. You, no. I only know Uzbekistan because of Bora. I take Afghanistan, mate. Tajikistan. Taliban are doing well at the moment. Tajikistan's slept Are they on. actually back? Th- Th- that's a type Taliban, of sauce. No, no. Yeah, Afghanistan's back, country. baby. Taliban are up. Taliban are up. Like the, the money's up. They they've they've banned all the all the haram things like music and drinking, and everyone's just farming now. Fair enough. Yeah, that's just that's pure grind. That it's just grind. It's honestly. like a little spiritual reset. Just get straight back to fucking basics. Let's get let's get some farming going. Let's get yeah. some hoeing going. Yeah, that's kind of like what they're doing with all these company layoffs. They're saying like they just get rid of all the fluff, strip back to the basics. It's sad, but it works. It is. What it's not. The- you don't like to see it. But company- I, I, I genuinely think. Obviously, I'm. I'm not you know, trying to defend the Taliban here or anything. But in terms of financial policy, they're pretty good. 
I don't know the financial <laughs> policy. How do you know the financial like in policy? In terms of, of what they've done for the country of Afghanistan, not socially, just like financially. Yeah, morally, so, morally, morally, I'm, the not, eyes, with, I'm they're, not with them. I can't. They're defend struggling. Them. Yeah, PR wise, they could definitely do with a, a new agency or firm. I'll yeah. help them out. <laughs> yeah, Taliban, if you're listening, sign up to Chip's agency. But in terms of the economy, they're back, baby. Did they essentially, the Taliban, do like a Todd Bowley almost and like play the long game? Invest, <laughs> uh, like invest in a lot of youth in and hope that it pays off in like six, seven years? Because it's saying they lost aid, like eight billion pounds, the dollars worth of aid each year. Yeah, they're, they're replacing it with like their own yeah. grassroots foundation. Exactly. You say they're, uh, they're building the academy. That, that's yeah. a, that's From the ground up, aren't they? Yeah, good yeah. It, yeah. I mean, grassroots. But, uh, the under 17s. Is, is Oh. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Their cricket team's not bad either. Couple star boys in there. <laughs> Fuck off. This is so bad. <laughs> They've just gone wet. They've just stars. gone insane. <laughs> oh my God. The only reason Prody wanted to talk about top five is because I made top five black people the other day. So uh, there long. was a bit of controversy. But you, but you did top five white people, so it was. Yeah, fair, no, right? yeah, no. I've done Asians who, as well. Yeah, I've done Asians. Who was your well. top five? Who was your top uh, white person? Top white person who who came in at one? Can't remember. You didn't have Taylor Swift in there, did you? No, no. no. She's got to be. She's, she's got, got to be in there. In there. She's, she's, got got she's got bottom five white people for me. No, oh, no. that's crazy. You're not, uh, you're we not, don't support yeah. that. You're not Swifty. We're su- we're Swifty we're to death. I, I don't hate. I, like I feel like a lot of people think that if you don't like Taylor Swift, you hate Taylor Swift. I don't hate Taylor Swift. She's just like bang out. Yeah, you're backtracking now, pal. You have yeah. a lover. Yeah. Uh, the, there's no other way. Her tunes. Her tunes are just like meaty. Oh, they're just like average. So you're a misogynist. You're not a fan of paper rings. Yep. Okay. Yep. You don't have know what one is. too many blank spaces and you're not 22. So that makes sense. Yeah. So. You've had too much of that drink, pal. <laughs> yeah. No, we are. We're Taylor Swift to the death. I'll die. Are you? I will oh, actually yeah. die. I'm more of a Lana Del Rey man here myself. This is your white people. Okay. To- uh, Rufus' top five white people here. That's a great angle. You look much better in person than you do on you TikTok. Do. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Josh, was it Josh? Because I, I refuse to hold the phone up name? at a higher angle than I'm the same. That's how I vlog. Yeah. You've got like the same face shape as Thanos. Thanks, <laughs> 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 That's such a I'm good sorry, point. But it's like, <laughs> no, I don't think that's an insult. You know? No, no, it's, like, no, it's not. I think it's quite a power move. Like, yeah. you're quite hunky. Michael Jackson, obviously, fifth white person. Ah, but he switched sides. Mm. Yeah, to to our side. Oh, oh, Isaac no, sorry, yeah, Newton, right. okay. not a fan not of that. Not the chip chat. side. No, 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 not no, no. I'm, I'm like somewhere in the middle of everything. I, I don't like that Isaac Newton shouting at four. But but he literally invented gravity. He he didn't invent it. He, I disagree with that. He just decided to give it a name. Yeah. Wait, just look at this. Look at this thing. ranking from I found in some magazine. Jesus, Newton, Muhammad, top three. That's a strong front three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brody, that was good from you, pal. <laughs> that is the most condescending thing you can say. <laughs> no, it's just Willy you know. Wonka in at three. Um, uh, but which one are we talking? The classic Timothy Chalamet. Let's so not be around character. the bush here. Realistically, he is I was surprised to not see Willy Wonka on Epstein's list. You don't know what you're on about, pal. He invites kids to his factory yeah. and then sort of murders. Them. It was kind of like a prodigy. If yeah, but he gets away with it. And I think that's a sign of like just a real like. That's why he's only third. If he wasn't a nonce, he'd be top two. He's a goal getter. He gets away with it. He's He's got a certain tell charisma. Me, tell me you don't want to go to that factory there. Of course. Yeah. It looks lovely there. Drake, Drake, Drake number two. two. Drake number two. Drake this was two. That's a controversial one, I'd say. This was because this is. This was pre <laughs> that video. Oh, so then he should be one. No, no, because nah, I think that video proves that he's definitely not white, but I was up in the air for a second. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Such kind a nice of OJ Simpson vibe sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It just went so, it was so casual that Drake's dick got lead, then that was it. It was just such a nice call. Well, I think I think that's going to happen so much now because everybody's got like random knob picks from- yeah. I've never taken ago. a picture of my knob. Neither have Me I, either. but there are people out there who have done it a lot. Oh, so yeah. I feel like there's just going to be more and more leaks and then suddenly it's not even going to be news anymore. Who's yeah, number one? Dan Gorski. Uh, Don Gorski, yeah. The yeah guy, you know this guy? He's eaten like 40,000 Big Macs since and 1973. how has he made his way to the top of this top five? five <laughs> <list>? <laughs> no, that's that's impressive, impressive. Inspirational stuff. He has, he has two and a half Big Macs a day. Oh, wow. And he has done since 1973, bro. No breaks. I would say, right, so McDonald's Shit. is actually not that bad for you. Hear me out on this that's one. A, that's just an objectively terrible take. No, yeah, I actually, know. no, seriously. <laughs> Fucking cow with his TikTok signs. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I think McDonald's is better for you than then, most of the crap that you actually eat. Le, le, but I eat quite good food, no? Like, normally. No, but is like, it, I, Okay, so look. Okay, I, 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 I would, I, I reckon having, I reckon having McDonald's is better for you than a prep. 
I don't eat pret. It's awful food. Um, what Take about, that back. No, nah, it's just not my kind I will of thing. stand in the pret corner. Really? I will fight for pret. Pret, if you're watching this. Bro's twerking for sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Mate, pret versus Greg's is the ultimate class divide. And I'm team pret all the that way. That comes as no surprise. I've never yeah. been to Greg's. I'm Greg's. I've never You've been. Never you don't been know to about the so sausage. How can you even bean? have a word in I've that? Smelled, I've, I've walked past it. I've smelled. I've seen the clientele. I'm not a fan. You've been Wenzel's. No. What is that? Oh, oh what are you on? Stanley about? knows because he's a North London boy. Mate, that's like, that like is Mac Wenzel. versus PC versus Linux right there. Oh, <laughs> what? I'm telling you, <laughs> like a, until you have tried a Wenzel's uh, chicken bake, then you've not lived, my friend. Wenzel's. Not it's lived. like a bougier version of Greg's, but they're only in certain parts of London. Stanley, yeah. what is, what's the situation? Is he waffling? No, you got Pret, Wenzel's. Oh, so he's oh, team Pret like, as well. I don't know if that I, I don't agree with Pret being higher yeah. than Wenzel's. To Pret's Nakito, man. Yeah, yeah Pret, Pret is. Naked. Have you ever had a coffee from there? Obviously, not using Nackers. the subscription. How expensive Nackers. it is? It's like three eighty for Americano. That's how they get you, man. Yeah, that's how they get you on the subscription. Anyone with a subscription, I have to say, is insane. That's yeah, it's a bit daft, isn't it? You got something wrong? Coffee with you. subscription you need is that a new thing, or has that been around no, for a minute? So Mate, thirty quid a month. I'll tell you, that was the biggest news of all time at XT Uni when that dropped. <laughs> what the the, the, what the, the, the Pret Coffee subscription? So it was like wildfire spreading around campus. The girlies People sharing. The gir no, the girls. I like, couldn't believe that they could finally have an opportunity to spend more money at Pret. <laughs> <laughs> there was one on campus at Exeter. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Do you shag a lot of women? Interesting. Interesting. Um, not really. Exactly. Not really at the moment. I'm. I'm. Good I'm. Set. So. I, I've been like looking. I think dating has been harder now. Bef now, honestly, why than before when I didn't have any followers? Because now I come like with expectations. Uh, I feel like I'm there to disappoint. I, it's like when I did a club appearance, right? And there's some guys in the smoking area outside, and they're like, "Rufus, do you want a cigarette?" And I was like, "No, no, no, I don't smoke." And they were really let down. They were uh, like, "This guy's not even a legend." Like, this guy's. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's actually a pussy in real life. We don't like him anymore. Like, that's the sort of thing I get cancelled for. It's not like if if I said something racist, I think it would be fine. It's like me drinking zero alcohol beer. Like that's what people would get pissed off at. Yeah, yeah. they'd be like, "This guy's a fraud. Mm -hmm. This guy's a charlatan. Like he doesn't live up to his words, man." <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a great one. I love that. Yeah, word. I'm have to take that to the vault. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's getting put in the bank. Um, but, have you ever had any weird fan experiences? <laughs> Oh, my fan experiences generally just boil down to really sweaty blokes with curtains who are very pissed coming up to me, breathing in my face and wanting me to like recite TikToks for them. Uh, <laughs> can you sing that song? Like my demographic is, is so packed into just one kind of person. Yeah. Like, and I'll go into uni towns and I'll just get mobbed and then I'll go outside and I'm anonymous. That's what it's like. Yeah, you know, we we get like uh that that's sort of our thing is that like if you go to to any sort of like uni heavy place, it's carnage. But Thought for example, but in central London you're probably all right. Thought Park is Well, that's because all the Fortnite kids that used to watch your videos go My missus took me there chip. for my oh, birthday or something at one time, but she <sighs> kinda of just weren't thinking about like that. She was just, she had good intentions and obviously I didn't know where I was going. Then I rocked up at Fort Park and I'm like, Oh, this is gonna be a tough time. But it was a meeting. Thirty two degrees, yep. COVID masks <laughs> <laughs> and it was just fucking boiling and I was wearing all black. It was just awful. I died and didn't do anything because it was a lot of fans. So, Even for someone like me. Yeah. Little scrub. Mm. Top five serial killers. Top five serial killers. Well, I got a lot of heat for that, for not putting um, the Zodiac on the list. Um, great, great. Because here's, here's the thing about Zodiac, right? Like he has a huge brand because he made they have that film like yep. he sent those letters to the police he's like taunting everybody so he's a character he's a yeah. personality that people can get behind but in pure stats like way less kills than you would have thought for some, from someone with such a big name yeah if you know what i mean i, I feel like unabomber is kind of in that in that realm as well no i think overrated. he's a sort of different category because he's like an eco warrior he? he's like just stop oil beforehand yeah he had he had good beliefs was it btk Butcher, torture, kill. Bind, bind, torture, kill. Is that is that what it was? He, bind, bind, torture, kill. That was yeah. his method, and they called him the BTK killer. Yeah, he, um, was, he, was, he was pretty brutal. He didn't quite make my top five. Who made? Uh, what was your top five then for that? Um, let's see if I can recall. 
Um, <laughs> we're asking him to recite the TikTok. Do you want me now. to get the TikTok up? Yeah, you can get the TikTok up. Let's have a little look. Did you have any classic slashes in there? Little knife. Jack the Ripper was in there because he's like he's like the Pele of serial yeah. killers. Yeah, like, but yeah, a lot like of his, it could be fraudulent. No, and yeah, we're not sure yeah, about yeah. the yeah, goals. Can't put yeah, yeah. Goals. We're not yeah, yeah. sure about those fabricated goals. numbers. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was killing a lot of like randos like in Whitechapel. <laughs> like he was like playing against the Brazilian farmers. Yeah. Oh, you must have had. But the uh, thing is, the thing is, the the argument you can always make for Jack the Ripper is like. Why is he so infamous if it was so easy? Because like every surely everybody was doing it, and like oh, yeah, he, for me I, he doesn't. He get stands into my out. Top five. Have you guys ever just thought about it? taking a moment though? Like think about the time when there was just genuinely no CCTV. My God, it must have just. Mate, been it wasn't even that long ago. It was like been, the nineties. Must have been a walk in the park, walking yeah. down an alley. No one's there. <laughs> Slip. See you later, pal. How is Luca about? Magnotta not in this list? Luca Magnotta. Oh, and he, no, was he a, weren't. He weren't. That no, good, but man. what he did, the lengths he went to. I think that's recency bias from you. Yeah, bro. Really? yeah, yeah. Because you've watched a doc and you're forgetting about the old <laughs> no, legends, the classics. I think, think about John Wayne Gacy. Wait, have you seen yeah. Harold Shipman's numbers? He's no, no, crazy. This is who I was going to say. For <laughs> me, Harold Shipman should be number one. We did one. a ep on him, didn't we? Yeah, we did a we did a mysteries episode on him. Right. And, what was and he doing that again? that right there, he you want to talk about stat padding? This guy lived in fucking League One. Yeah, yeah. Played up top, and he just had balls played through. That's why I only put him third. Because, like, yeah. because he Farmers had no league, opposition. You know when yeah, people yeah, yeah, play yeah. this free for all on COD to just get their KD up, he was yeah. that guy. He just wanted that red camo, and boy, did he get it! As, yeah. For me, for me, Ted Bundy is the goat. Why though? Because it, not, the charm. Not ah, not thinking it. Looks not only did he much. go on an out of seat streak, he escaped from prison twice, which is just epic. That's mm. good. That's and good. like. Even and they released a documentary about him thirty years after his death, where it details everything about all the crimes he committed, and there were still girls on Twitter going, "Oh my god, I fancy him so much." That's Do you crazy. remember when that documentary yeah. came yeah. out? They were, thirsting, they were thirsting. You know what? You've him. made a good yeah. case, sir. To be fair, yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer number two because he's <sighs> mental. Yeah. I mean, if you're scranning people, yeah, that's another it's level. Fucking nuts, isn't it? it does, yeah, there has finish, to be a level. I couldn't finish that Netflix series. Really? It was horrible. Wasn't it? Yeah. It like, was it horrible. wasn't the, the creepiness of it. I just didn't, I've, I didn't like the fact that it was just chopping up bodies. Yeah. Killing them is one thing, but. Mate, there was somebody, really there was somebody who accidentally bought his old flat. Oh, and they were like, wait, like I, I, was it not, did it not knock uh, the building down or? No. No, I heard about this. And, and it, they were like wondering why this place was so cheap. And they had like, I think oh dear. In they certain find... places, they have to disclose information like that. Isn't that the same for the house in Enfield? It's cheaper than all the other houses uh, from the Enfield haunting, but it's the movie is Conjuring Two that you might know. Oh, okay, right, yeah. It's around the, around I'll tell the you one who you've missed off on this list who should get mentioned. He's that one that David Tennant. There was that show about. Dennis. Dennis Nilsson. Dennis Nilsson. In terms of, in terms of like UK, like he's pretty Not up familiar. there. Yeah. What, he, what um, he hid do? bodies in his like wall cavities and stuff. Oh, he got God. caught. He got caught because he was flushing stuff down the drains Is and this... his neighbours saw. Both. Was he UK? Yeah, he was like London. It, it, he got caught how, sorry? So he was flushing yeah. bodies down his drains and his neighbours like saw the bones. Oh, oh wow. look how similar they looked though. Obviously, oh David Tennant God. played him, but yeah. that's how he looked. Obviously. Is that new? Probably I've not seen um, that. It was on ITV maybe like four years ago, I want to say. Man, he's, oh, like, he's like an honorable mention. Doesn't quite make the top five, I think, but. Killed a lot. Yeah. I mean, he looks. I respect, I respect the hustle. David Tennant looks just like him though. Yeah. Fucking hell, that's a bit mad. Oh. I think I've watched that thing that you're on about actually. About yeah, this. That's good. That's good. Yeah, this was a good. That was a good. He's story. so, he is so creepy. What's, what's the worst is like. Serial killers and stuff. When they talk about the crimes they committed, they're just nothing, no emotion. Like it's worse than it's worse than like showing any emotion at all. I, they are stone cold. Oh, they look, doesn't even register, bro. Edward Kemper is that his name? Yeah, you yeah. Know him. Have you ever seen Killed his, his mum? Yeah. Oh my god, this guy was he's really smart as well, really high IQ, but he just didn't give a shit. And he just described his interviews are some of the scariest. He Max talks about well, it like six it's five, I think. Anyway, but yeah, that, that's an interesting one. Yeah. There's another movie um, that was done on, um, I think it had Jonah Hill in it. And he goes in and there's a, a killer yeah. that killed like a mom and a daughter. Mm. And, it, and the guy says, um, I'll do an interview, but I want it to be with this one guy. I've seen this film, yeah. Yeah. And, and and that one guy's Jonah Hill but, and, and he comes in I think he's like it works for the New York Times or whatever he comes in and he just fucks yeah true story it's called Ooh. and he just fucks with uh, that's uh, Franco in it mm -hmm. yeah James Franco 
and he just fucks with him and it's I'll an unbelievable that. movie. I won't give any spoilers, but okay. if you like that type of thing, yeah, man, yeah. what a movie. Damn. I liked it. I think the reviews, it got kind of crap reviews, Was but it I actually really liked it. Was that a girl? I think so. Okay. Yeah. That reminds me of uh, Blackbird, Apple TV. You watch that? Blackbird's TV. unreal. That? Get Blackbird uh, on. Are you, uh, do, you, do you watch movies, TV shows often? Or I'm, not your I'm, a, I'm a film enjoyer. I don't really watch TV shows, but I like to sit down and like make an afternoon of it. Like, yeah. watch, I like long ass films. I think films. I'm in the similar. I really watch long movies. fucking... Lord of the like Rings. Bla- Blackbird dog. Interstellar. Sort of like epic scales. Oh, Interstellar, mate. June. I, so I watched that like... R- like surprisingly recently Interstellar for the first time. Oh, really? And that, that bit where he's like looking back at the pictures of his kids and stuff. What, through the book, uh, when he's in the dim- dimension, yeah? I teared up. Yeah. yeah. That was an it's incredible. It's amazing. In- no! Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Did Paul just think he was in the movie as well? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to let that one go, bro. Yeah, I, w- I want to take it back to dating for a second because I yes. started, started on about that and then we got talking about serial killers. You want to talk about dating? Yeah. Come yeah, on, yeah, I do. I do actually. Tell us what you got. Because I don't know if if anyone else out there has found this, but like, I've I've got like you know I've got my list of requirements mm-hmm. for girls and stuff. I'm looking for a girl who doesn't have a dog, vape, or tattoo, and I I genuinely don't think there are any. That's quite difficult. I, yeah, I don't because think you're there actually are not any. a. Do- Sorry, we'll stay on the dating topic. But you're not a dog person because I had my dog in the office. You came in and you're there like that. It does not. I'm not interested in that. Yeah, it's a it's a big sticking point. When I go on dates and stuff, I have to get it out of the way early doors that I don't like dogs and I won't like... And everyone's like, oh, but you'll like my dog because they like their dog. And I'm like, no, I won't. I don't like any dogs. And um, and I was like, if, if it got down to it, there would be an ultimatum. You've got to choose between me and the dog. And I know most girls are picking dog there in that yeah. situation. So I have wow. to get it out of the way. Ha, ha, Fair ha, have you been on any dates recently? And, I went through a phase. I was a serial data for a bit. But what I found is you tend to just get pissed you spend a lot of money and you if if you if you don't get anything back for a bit then it's a bit demoralizing so i'm off it at the moment and instead i just make top five like serial killers and stuff have you had like a best date that you've been on have you had stuff like I, that? i'm a man i'm a man i don't know about you guys i'm a man who likes to fall in love on the first date oh, oh. you're yeah. a romantic eh yeah i think so like if, if i have an incredible date I, I've already planned our entire life together what's before the, per- the second what's one the perfect date for you what's like an ideal night I don't know. I think Re- rewatching just, Tony Blair and yeah. Are you a di- are you are you just dinner and drinks? Just talk. To no way. Night? No dinner, Little bro. Walk. Dinner is a com- dinner is a huge commitment. I'm oh, not doing so that. It's like dr- a pure drinks only. So I went I went on a brunch date once. That was the most awkward thing. Yeah, a brunch date weird, like a stinker. Weird time. Oh, 12 p.m. Meeting someone new. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh and it's also God. like, when do you go home? Ugh. Like, what's going on? What are you doing? Because you never really like see with like uh, a drink date or something. There, yeah. is, there was always the excuse of. I've got something tomorrow. I've got to go. Like yeah. da, 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 da. So brunch. with a brunch, yeah. you can't get to like three and be like, "Oh, I've got to go now." No, I just saying, go and watch football. Yeah. No. I, I, no, but that's an awful excuse. No, to no leave if a you're day. going Maybe. to the game or oh, something, you are such a rookie, mate. Easy one. Get your car getting there, Motid. That's good. Fuck, though. he's gonna question that. Yeah. I'll get my car and we'll see it three. So. Yeah, but you've just been on the piss. How's, how's the car getting here? Like, oh, I, I, I was gonna drive it. Oh, don't fuck, fuck's sake, lad. You're always ruining me, me, me moments. Okay, yeah. You found that you found the loophole. There. You found but a loophole. The idea of MOT works though. Yeah, like something's happening that's so rogue yeah. that it just normally won't happen. It's 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 a bad time to have a date. I would say it's probably the second worst time behind um, my mate accidentally got double booked with this girl uh, on the same day as her granddad's funeral. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that's probably a bad timing for a date. As you well. ever had an yeah. STD? No. Oh, that's soft. I'm a practitioner of extremely safe sex. Sometimes I, like I wear two Johnnies. Yeah, that's that's worse. That's a yeah. podcast, that isn't is it? Podcast. Yeah. yeah, that is a, an Irish is podcast. Is two Johnnies. Mm. Oh, okay, didn't know that. You yeah. want to go on dates in really dark rooms? Why? You'll enjoy it more. No, but you need to check they're not a munter. Yeah, no, you don't want to check that. Just enjoy it. That's important. I feel it like also works in your favor as well. Sometimes, like if you're not looking good. I feel or, like that's like, Nash is like me. You just hide in a dark corner. <laughs> I feel like that's imp- <laughs> it's important to establish that they're not a munter. Nah, man. So we you, use apps. You're use thinking apps? too far ahead. You're being yeah, too I, logical I, with it. I do use apps, but honestly, like the peckings around near me. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> pecking. <laughs> You've always got some kind of term. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one you said earlier? Growler. Oh, yeah. Growler. Growler. Oh, he was looking mate. at the Playboy mags here and... 
Yeah. But there's a proper 80s bush in there. Like, yeah. serious, That's serious what foliage. What are you? Are you a bush man or not? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, if it's like... Impartial? The thing is, I think it's like being morbidly obese, having a big bush. It's indicative of something about you, I think. I think like if, if you have... <laughs> this bro me <laughs> what that's if, brilliant like, if, if you have like a massive angry growler like a huge bush like a, George, <laughs> a, a, pro a proper george w like <laughs> george w <laughs> if you have one of those yeah. that means that you don't take care of yourself oh fair. it says something about you as a person yeah what if it's I, I definitely pruned um, and it's, don't, a, don't it's a shape well. to the hair so it's yeah, clear well, if it's groomed if, if, it's, if, there's, if there's been yeah. effort gardening and, if there's been gardening maybe they've got They've had a man in to do it um, once or twice a week. What, is it, what if you're a man? Yeah, you because I, I like to actually let mine grow. I think it's oh, a natural really? way Can't to live. Stand it, I, I love it. I think it's a natural way to live. Every few years, I'll do a cut down. <laughs> this is a this is a bad analogy, but mine is like a baby's bum. Like there's there's yeah. no. I would fucking <laughs> after this pod no. after this pod, I would love to see so we can compare. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah. Right. So wait, nice. do you are you a nair user? Huh? What nair? Probably you know what I'm on about. Feels the like it's skin, got uh, the hair arms. removal cream. Yeah, so you, oh, you put it there. Oh, v and it's V, is it not? No, nah, I think there's also I, one called. Yeah, you're on that way. No, I, I don't. Yeah. I don't need to get like the root out. I'll just shave it. You, okay, yeah, yeah you just not that. You're, you're a manscaper. Yeah. yeah, manscaped. I like that. I think. I think it's important at your age as well. Especially when the manscape. What odd, difference right? does it make at my age? No, I just feel like as you get older, you're on the come up, right? You're like you're experimenting. Yeah, meeting new people. I'm I'm moving up the the league table of like Marf, I guess. Have you ever fit your balls inside of a the woman? Pyramid of Nobody's Marth. done that. Nobody's done that. <laughs> Nobody's done. I've you know, always thought though that, you know, that would be impressive. You know you know like the the talent pyramid I'm talking about. Yeah. Like when you're just a guy at university, you're playing in a different league. Yeah. So when when you when you get a few followers <laughs> and you get a bit more attention suddenly it's a different and I'm not saying one's better than the other it's just like moving countries in top five leagues yeah. right now I've got a different type of yeah girl po pool you're like Europa pool. League right now well, where, where are you well, like yeah, what, what are you trading in yeah I don't you know like it's, kind of, it's kind of what hard to establish you where you are really no you should you should be pretty pretty much able to but, but you know you know yeah. like when you're at uni there's girls who are like university hot Right. right. Well, it's the same with school. Yeah, there's girls who are like school when you were hot. at school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you were there like wow, Dangerous she's it. Are you saying what, like, university when you're hot? Are you saying in comparison to your peers? In comparison to like influencer hot. Yeah. If you know right. what I mean, like it's okay. a different sport almost. So when you're looking like for community a girl, shield, do you have to have a certain thing? Like if she doesn't know your videos, yeah, is that more That's of a preferable. turn on? I like yeah. that. Because then, then she's going in with no expectations. Yeah. Then I can set them. I'm in control yeah. of that. Whereas before, there are some girls that like I've had interactions a good time with, with, who are like unnerving finger positioning. There, they they know more about my videos than I do, and that's yeah. a bit weird. If you know what I mean, like yeah. like they're asking me questions and I'm answering them, but right. they already know the answers, and that's weird. Yeah, that is I'm weird. not really a fan of that. They're deep into Rufus Rice law. Didn't you have a, a date chip where a girl <laughs> oh, asked about so Harry good. or something? Yeah. We told this on Chunks of Philly pod, actually, but this is... She just yeah. had her dogs out as well. <laughs> it's like, yeah. put them away. She had her <laughs> dogs out at a date, <laughs> yeah? Like, she come from the beach. the beach. That's yeah. exactly what I fucking said. <laughs> I said, we're in central London. There's no beach. There is a beach, uh, River Thames, a little pebble beach. Well, I feel like he sort of be into that, though, you know? No, no, no not the dogs. That. You I don't like dogs? Uh, no, hundred percent. No, I like do real dogs with yeah, the fur, yeah, not the ones with the toes. Uh, under unbelievable. Uh, There's been times where his yeah. missus like has been on a night out, and he's like, "You got to go home and put on actual shoes." That like, and she she's travelled all the way back in an Uber, put that's on shoes not, just to that's come. Just not true. That is crazy. That's not true. Bro. We'll go to the shop and buy him. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a foot bath in your house just for like? No, but I tell you what, I do want um, a bidet. Okay. I feel like we yeah. should be cleaning our asses more. I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm not an advocate for many things, but I'm on, only a few, well. only a few things like sex on the first day. I'm a big believer in. Um, what, why is that? Why? Because I, I think like if, if the desires of carnal lust, like are just in the air on that first day, I see no reason why you would wait. Oh, you see, surely it's just a rescue for disaster though. You've tried the apple. There's nothing to look forward to, is it? Fucking no, nah, but then no, no, but 
Whether it's Thursday first first day or whether it's fourth day. Yeah. Don't you? Don't it's you just, just a matter of wasted time. It's a game of conquest, isn't it? Like if you complete the mission at the start, then you're fucking looking forward to it. That's not what I'm in it for, Proddy. I'm in it for true love, man. Stanley don't go like on a date. You can only work out the true love if you already had a burn. So you need to get that out of the way early doors <laughs> so you can have all the information about it. Because what if you're not sexually compatible? Yeah, that's, what I'm that's a big say. one. So that's why I'm that an advocate of that. Um, what else am I an advocate for? What are we talking about? Um, what were we talking about? <clears throat> Different ways of masturbation. Uh, I think we were talking about 2008 knob. Manchester United squad being the best ever. I'm not an advocate for that. I would, uh, I could back that, but I'm a United fan. Something about your foot fetish. Uh, oh, oh yes. yeah, oh, yeah. bidets, dogs bidets. Dogs yeah, I'm an av- bidets. I'm an advocate for the bum gun. So, <laughs> all Asian, why are you calling it that? All Asian toilets come equipped with the, fucking unbelievable. Sh- eh? It's got a little gap on the side, and you can just and on it's so much cleaner than toilet paper. Well, it's so ask, much better for you. Why have we not got similar toilets to Japanese toilets? Like, why is that not an investment the country makes? They I'm getting one in my house. Are amazing. I'm with you. Yeah. They're, They're amazing. The, uh, They're illegal, yeah, illegal, but 100%. So they've got all the buttons laid out. And obviously when you go to like Japan or, you know, yeah. or to Korea, and obviously the, the buttons are all not English and you're pressing every button and your asshole's getting sprayed. And sometimes your directions. balls get tickled by ice and you're no. in the wrong spot. Like, what? Yeah. Uh, your fucking tampon gets inserted in there and everything. It's like you're shitting into a PS5 a little bit. Or like, you know what I mean? It's they are high tech. Yeah. It's just, pr- yeah. Or like the metaverse. Well, to be fair, I ordered uh, chicken nuggets and chips. <laughs> obviously what, and, on, um, on the, toy and um, the door opens up and it was a robot that delivered it the d- robot knocked on the door and delivered the chicken and chips no. and and, it deli- <laughs> and I ordered a t- toilet roll and it and it delivered a toilet roll too how fucking insane <laughs> is that to be right. when I checked into the hotel it was just a robot that checked me in <laughs> this just screams of the key story again no 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 it's true though but uh, you know what the good news is they can have all that but they've got a population crisis but let me talk to you about Colombia I heard it's fucking like four quid for a gram. It is. It is. Dollars. Yeah. Four dollars for a gram yeah, is even cheaper. Joke. Yeah. It's joke. That's why I'm going on holiday there. That's shipping costs. Definitely. Who's well, that? Yeah, bro- you don't have to pay VAT um, either. Probably you'll know him. Who's that guy on Twitter that bought about 20 bags over there? He's an English lad. And he, and he poured them all down the drain. Oh, I know the tweet you're talking about. I can't remember his name. Yeah. And he was, he was the one that was saying, oh, these were all like, it was like 40s. Four dollars a gram or whatever. What? What did he do it for? What a strange flight. I don't know. It was. He was trying to just show how cheap the bag was, and he had literally twenty bags. It was very weird. But it, yeah. we don't. Well, we don't. We don't. Drugs is not something that we're. <laughs> we're not saying we condone it. We just support it. <laughs> yeah, I support the Somali pirates. Hey, Captain Phillips was great. Yeah, great good film, movie. and like they're less fortunate than us, so we should we should support them. In what sense? I, I would I would argue the average Englishman is wealthier than a, the average Somali pirate. I you think know, that's a pretty safe bet. You know, <laughs> so like you know, we should help out the less fortunate. You know, if we by use, doing what? We what would like, you like to do? Join them. Join them. Yeah, that's I don't. I don't you, think that solves video, their it? financial problems by joining them. Well, I'm helping. I'll, I'll do better. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 In okay, in a um, Somali pirate operation. Yeah. yeah. If you were to join their side, what part of the operation are you improving? Oh, I'm I'm going to be the prison bitch straight no. away. That's I, I know that's what's going to happen. Improve the vocab. You'll have Somali pilots going around saying that's indicative. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, I mean, I could do the you know, I could teach them English, and they could come maybe rob some ships over here. I say I've always wanted to rob a ship. Yeah, be a pirate. Yeah, you can do it on Assassin's Creed. You ever play Sea of Thieves? You used no. to rob ships on there, but you had proximity chat. It used to get quite bad. Yeah, I can only imagine what the what the party chat was like. Yeah. Isn't that the one with the Unreal soundtrack? Yes. Yeah. Yes, one I'm going to play at my funeral. <laughs> I've already got my funeral song. Have you got one? Yeah, I think I'm going to do Dancing Queen. That's so oh, that stinks. That's As my coffin is getting lowered into the grave. No. Dancing. Oh, no, I'm going to do my own music. Of course. It has to be the Osama Bin Laden tune. Yeah, my own oh. tunes. It's just going to be all my own tune. I'm going to pre-record something from Beyond the Grave, and then they're going to play that at the funeral. Okay, I was I want like a front that. row seat, by the way. Yeah. So okay. put me in the bleachers for that. <laughs> what are your parents like? Um, In what sense? Uh, Just like, I'm just trying, if you were to give me an image of your parents, like, what uh, are they like as people? People often say that my family is like the fam- family picture in the French textbook. Oh really? In that it's kind Labrador. Of, I mean, we don't have a dog, obviously. Yeah. But it's kind of like an ideal, like 
ideal family as you would imagine it. You know, people who have like loads of family trauma and stuff. Yeah. I'm the exact opposite of that. I did say- My family is so sound. <laughs> you went to the University of Exeter. I went to the University of Bath. Right. Close enough. Yeah. And Saltburn. Yeah. You've seen uh, that's that. What I said to uh-huh. you. Yeah, yeah. What, do, do you see any correlation? I did don't you, live did in you, that house. No, no, I know. But asking. no, no, no. But just in general, like the friendship groups that you ran in. Yeah. Did you ever come across that type of family? I d- honestly, I didn't until like I became vaguely well known. Really? Yeah, because then, then what happens? It's like like a uni. My friends are not posh at all. Yeah, they're just like very normal. I'm just singled out for being posh, posh even right. though if you know posh people, they there are levels to the, the to the posh. It's because w- when I um when I started making videos and stuff, I got pigeonholed as posh, and then posh other posh people like you know reach out to you like the chelsea life jacket <laughs> reach out to you hey mate heard heard about what you're going through uh <laughs> as, as a as a sufferer yeah. myself yeah yeah as a sufferer of being posh um and then like you start you know you just meet these people you just happen to gravitate towards i think posh people find each other they have a so have you ever been like m- a gator m- my uh m- my ultimate question there is have you ever been to a Saltburn style yeah, yeah, party yeah. or house. Yeah, so last summer I filmed a music video f- for Chelsea Life Jacket, which they make like rugby tops and stuff. And um, we went down to a, you know, a National Trust esque sort uh, of big, big gaff. I don't know what the real term is for it. I think this is it, isn't it? This, this video. Is it. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, we filmed down there for a bit. And that was crazy. That house was just falling apart. So the, the family who own it, the right it's been in the family since the first crusade wow so literally the 1100s but now they have no money anymore so so there we go that's me on the great staircase having a bit of banter who are all the girls yeah so that they're, they're all um part of this group you know you porking them any of them that's uh, a yes um, no no. <laughs> no and who's it so you know this guy yeah i know this guy and um basically yeah we we made a song and then we all came down to record this video in this falling apart house. You look good, by the way. Thanks, mate. Yeah, like, yeah, like that suit. Cool. You, that's not an M&S suit. That's a serious suit. No, though. that's a serious suit, but it's not mine because I didn't have one. Not your dad's. So. It's not my dad's. It's just some blokes. And he's like, I just put it on and it just fit. Like, class. It was like Harry Potter finding the wand. Yeah. Were well, you drunk ah, during this? Oh, I was hammered. Yeah. That was a rough weekend. Everyone just got brutally sunburned and pissed and then felt very sick afterwards. But yeah. And and so this is like the yeah I mean this is kind of giving a little salt burn vibes kind of just it in a sense I, I get me, no no looking back it's pretty much like that minus all the spunk drinking and yeah I don't know you grave know. shagging <laughs> <laughs> there's a case do, for you, it. do you find like within this there's a lot of like gay stuff no but, well like the sort of banter that there is is like let's all take off our clothes and run around the castle yeah that is that is just standard sort of banter yeah right? i can get Which i think that. is is what happens like if you have generations of money in your family you do all the normal banter and then you have to do other stuff you got to take it at a level you got to take up. it at yeah. a level up because like you could do all that shit like you could just buy a flamethrower and like torch something for a laugh yeah so that just becomes the norm that older yeah. bloke that was in the video is it oggy is he called oggy, oggy yeah. yeah didn't you like have sex with his daughter or something or is that this a joke? Not true. Wait, no, nah, let's hear this. What is this prod? Yeah. No, nah, this TikTok viral guy called Oggy is like yeah. a stereotypical posh dad. Mm-hmm. And I remember him posting videos of like his daughter going off to uni, same one as Rufus. Yeah. And like I'd like to Rufus offic- officially it. put it on the record, Oggy, I did not pork your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. So I, I did a, sleep well. I did a club appearance at Oxford Brooks. Yeah. In last Freshers Week. And she she was just starting there. Um but I went I went to see her. But I didn't. There was you no didn't porker. There was no action. Fair enough. Allegedly. Yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, like, no, there shout, was, shout out. There wasn't. There wasn't. Uh, shout out to Oggy. Who's that? Is he sound? Is he's a big guy on TikTok, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's he's absolutely mental, man. But I love him. Okay. If, if he was your dad, he'd drive you nuts. But he's not, so it's all good. So we're sweet. No, he's a legend. He's a legend of the game. This is him. Yeah. Let's have a look. The thing is, he does it. He, you know, he's a legend because like he doesn't even do it for the money. Because he's already oh, got, so he's, oh. he's already got the generational wealth. He just does it to like annoy his just, kids. Like, oh, he, he just right. does it for the love of the game. You come from generational wealth. No, I wish I did. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what 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 do your family do? Are you allowed to say? Yeah, they they own a company that sells 
holidays, basically. Oh, cool. Like, skiing holidays. Oh, like, no, you've told me this. this yes. This and you have a chalet yeah. that we're going to go to. It's, it's, in, it's in Canada. <laughs> Even better. It's not where about, Quick, wait, where about <laughs> West Coast. West Coast. Customs. West Coast. Whistler. We're, oh my god, Wait, yo, we're you, there. Are you, are you That's actually, a banger. Are you actually taking us somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Where's it? I've where? been roped into it. <laughs> yeah. Someone suggested that I, apparently we're going to my house and then. Yeah. yeah. Well, we did say beforehand, do you want to go on a trip? So I guess. Yeah, but I assumed, now, I assumed you guys were going to plan it. We'll, we'll, we'll pay. No, no, no. Your gaff sounds ideal. I well, plan I've it, always but you wanted just to go to Whistler. The gaff. Okay. Reverse for you? Premium economy flight, my friend. No, no. I, so one thing I definitely don't believe in is that sort of commercial trip. flying. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm an economy enjoyer, man. There's nothing wrong with it. I I don't think it's worth it. Even, even, if, <laughs> it. even if you have loads and loads of money, business class isn't like all that worth it because the money, like you, you have a good time for like eight hours and then the money just evaporates. So you get no asset for I it. I think what it is, That's is when, the you, point when you fly of being business, rich. Did you not say the same about like cocaine care. or something like that though? Because you don't get any asset from it. I but... don't do bags. So that adds up. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just think, I, I think, I think flying business is fantastic. No, no, it's a good experience, but I don't think it's worth the money. It's not like object objectively, it's not worth the money. No, because it's, it's such a short time as well. Like ten hours, man. You can really live through ten hours sitting in a normal seat, and then and then when you get off the flight in economy, by the way, you're like, damn, I just saved not, myself six grand. Like you I feel good. I'm not saying business class isn't isn't a good experience. I'm saying it's not worth however much it costs. Yeah, That's generally, right. when you start breaking it down, like even yeah. by by hour or by minute, it gets yeah, really depressing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you book in it online and you book it beforehand, you're not getting a cheap upgrade. It's a fucking rip off. Yeah, it's a grand, absolute bump. I'd grade, agree with that. And you're sat there thinking, I'm a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. And that's Speaking of pieces of shit. Feel. Right. Anyway. Um have you seen Kate Middleton's gone missing? Is Kate Middleton the um the um... Is Kate Middleton gone missing? Is this a real story? Yeah, she hasn't yeah, been seen a... since before Christmas. She's not missing. No, she is. Why is there why has no one seen her? Now hardest geezer and Kate Middleton both gone. By the time this comes I out, put, let's hope that they've both been found. I actually put Kate Middleton number one on my top five MILFs all time list. I do remember that. This would be heartbreaking for you. Then. So this is going to be a big one. You if this think is actually she's true. number one top she's five MILFs? Yeah, man. You've what, lost ahead it, of like mate. Sophia Vergara and things okay. like that? Okay, in a niche one. The, the nah, that, that ain't wave. niche. That, that ain't not niche, niche, bro. I considered her. Yeah. No, no. Think about it. That was, that was like a sexual awakening for me. That royal wedding, I was like 10 when that happened. True. Pippa Middleton. Do you remember that she's, one? She's, she's not no, nothing on Kate. She's a lovely woman. What, Kate clears her? <laughs> yeah. the, oh, this is, uh, if you watch Griselda on... Um, I haven't watched it This yet. is uh, her. Yeah, she plays the main. Oh. Um, oh. Actually quite good. I watched it all and I normally don't watch that kind of shit. Um, She'd love a toxin. Toxin drinks. Doctor. I'm hearing yeah. Max isn't cute at P1. Does anyone want to check it? When? Now. No, when do we ask? Oh, oh the oh, oh, just Sorry, I've been really excited. Sorry. I've been really excited for it. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. Final warning. Can you check for um, me though? Yeah, sure. I'll look right now. Um, Rufus, are you an F1 fan? Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Do you want to, should we, should we make some predictions now? Because I think it's done. I think Max wins every race this year. I reckon. <laughs> what time is it? Because it started at four. Uh, all, all of four them. Four. Every single one. And Perez, Perez like doesn't even, doesn't come second in the I'm thinking Fra Ferrari wow. is first. It is only Q2. Oh, okay. okay. And who's first in Q2? Uh, Leclerc. Okay. Oh. That's not really relevant. No, it's not, to be fair. Uh, Max first up in second. Well, okay, then it is going to be Max first. Uh, and it was... Uh, uh, how close? Two tenths. Clear, at least. Wait, what was that? It's been sandbagging this whole time. Are you going to do your alternative Q1 commentaries Max this year? Quicker, then uh, Ma that's Q2. The reason I had to right. stop was okay. um, because... F1 copyrighted the okay. footage. Did they? And then I was getting strikes on my account, so I had to stop because uh, otherwise my account was going to get. You banned. should just make a separate F1 account. But it will just get. It will just get taken down. down. It's yeah. pointless. And banned. They're so. They're so like about the footage. Even yeah. though I'm helping elevate their sport, I feel like you are to a new audience. Yeah, and but they're so arsy about their footage. Being Have you used. ever watched Rocket Powered Mohawk? Yeah, I have. It's not really. It's not really for me. For my oh, I was going to say, I great. thought you would be an enjoyer. I've seen. I've seen some clips. It's, it's bit. It's bit about like the Red Bull cuck machine is pretty funny. Yeah, like, he's yeah. Quite... about how everybody who comes into Red Bull gets cucked by Max and then leaves, including like he stole that. He stole Daniel Kvyat's son as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty mad. <laughs> And then like Albon comes, like Gazzy comes in, he gets cucked and then he leaves. Albon comes in, gets cucked by Max and leaves. <laughs> and like- It's a never ending train. Perez is going to get cucked next train. season. Yeah, it's just a never ending train of people. I want Daniel Ricciardo back. 
That's my... That's Even my so, he come in and he get cucked as well. Like, yeah, no, nobody's going to get close to him. No. No chance. Yeah. yeah. Well, F1, let's pray for a slightly more interesting season. Uh, season. Uh, well, I mean, it already has been. We've already touched on the Cristiano, but... Uh, how many tits have you seen in your life? According, uh, pr- uh, th- and, and let's not take this out of context. It, uh, Prodi got a DM saying, uh, in your lifetime, how many pair of tits have you seen? This includes films, in person, and any potential X-rated movies that you would have watched. Oh, X-rated, What's, uh, what, X-rated movies? Uh, yeah, X-rated yeah. amateur films. And porn, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, what sort of numbers do you think you'd be looking at? It's now easy. keeping this think- in pairs, so you know, it's, it's, it's in twos. Thing is, I've been to the beach in France a lot, man. And is that is all nude? Is yeah, that nude yeah. They, they 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 go continental with it. You know when you see someone with your with their tits out at the beach in this country? Yeah. You think, oh, that's sort of sort rogue. Of, yeah, that's sort of rogue, isn't it? Someone's getting a bit brave. Yeah. Um, but in France, in Spain, everyone's got it out, so that is definitely bumping it up a bit. Um, yeah. I mean, you can count. The amount of tits you've seen in terms of terms of sexual encounters quite easily. I think. You know what? Tits are more and more in movies, and there's so many unnecessary tits in movies. Sydney Sweeney, a lot of action. Saw a lot of action in that. I show. I just need to know, like, like. I mean, I know why they're doing it, but sometimes I'm watching a thing. I'm there, like, why are they porking? Like, I don't. This has this does not benefit the story at all. It just causes problems to my viewing experience yeah i don't we don't need it yeah, it doesn't yeah add i've got to pull out my phone and have just, a like, door closing or something you bring and you something can work from out your fucking mum it's just awkward yeah <laughs> <laughs> the thing I, I think what's going to make this difficult is the rogue one or two like occasionally like i remember when i was 15 i was in australia in a hot tub and this girl's like top sort of came off a bit and I saw one nip. So that's an extra one to this list. Oh, that's, a, yeah. that's a half a pair. The point five. There's got, yeah. there's got, to, there's got to be like that's, other ones that I've forgotten about. That's throwing. So it might not be an even integer. Mm. Um, but it's in the, and the and obviously the porn is going to be really tough to, reckon, we're in a hundred. I reckon it's in the mid hundreds. No, I, I mean, in my head, I had, a, I had about a 300 number. Yeah. Cause if you're watching porn, if, okay. If, if it's the same porn star, but two different occasions, does that count as one pair? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I would yeah, say it counts as one. Have to. Yeah, so, just, so it's actually like different people's tits that you've seen. Yeah. Like, there's quite a lot. There's quite an academic question. Let, let me tell you, actually, my number has significantly gone up recently, and it's not intentionally, unfortunately. It's due to me looking at the replies to viral tweets. Mm. So when there's a viral tweet underneath is just littered with strong bots and uh, only fan girls just with the most outrageous like replies it's got, it's and got you're just like this, this is like this is in reply to a viral tweet about a school shooting. <laughs> why am I seeing? Why am I seeing you plugging yeah. your OnlyFans with you spreading your ass cheeks? Like that's it's, that's foul. It's gotten, it's gotten a bit mental now. I, it's gotten to the point where if I'm if I'm scrolling TikTok, right? One of the bad habits I have is if I'm scrolling TikTok and I see like a fit girl like making a thirst trap or whatever, I'll always click on their profile to see if they're following me. Um, <laughs> but it's now gotten to the point I'm surprised when they don't have an OnlyFans, like. A little link tree in the bio. Yeah, yeah. Link when tree. when they haven't got classic. We and, have a link tree in our bio. And and maybe maybe not like maybe not like a full on OnlyFans like getting plowed, but maybe you could pay a tenner and see the growler, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Like I feel like a lot of girls have that. Like or they, or some pics, not, maybe. Just yeah. some pics. Or it's not OnlyFans, but it's one of those other websites and they say it's not OnlyFans and it's just like, yeah, and they, it's a gateway. For Come some on. for some reason the term you know. exclusive content has become a new word for porn, mm. even though that's not what that means. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> now now I think it's sort of almost default that like girls have only fans like internet girls if you know what I mean mm-hmm. influencer Influ- influencer girls influencer girls I'm genuinely surprised sometimes that some of them don't have only fans which is weird is I'm it not, a deal breaker for you oh would yeah, you yeah. would you I'm, date I'm, would you date a girl that does only fans no absolutely not that's grim yeah the it's other, interesting. What about what about you, Proddy? If your missus came to you and said, "I'm I'm trying to pop Fuck a titty," no. yeah, she's fun. trying to pop a titty. She gets enough grief for being vegan, bro. Yeah. There's no <laughs> need. There's no need. All right, yeah. but you can't, you can't right. be vegan and no, 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 hear me, me out, bro. Like, obviously, you um, are engaged. Yeah, uh, marriage on the horizon. Congratulations. Yeah. And she Thanks, says mate. to you, "Yeah, um, look, like, I've I've ran the numbers. We're looking at a projected thirty k a month." As I said to you, Cal. I, it's, I'm not money motivated like that. I like no, money. No, no, you're not, but she. But 
that is so I would be no it, it would be, no. be I'm gone if you do nothing, that nothing is worth that loss no. of dignity no. there's literally no amount of money in the world imagine with with our audience as well yeah, I will be but... known forever as little cuck boy yeah, 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 it's a rough ride on the pod misses. for sure <laughs> yeah a rough ride. I would be, be fucking longer. finished Mate, imagine coming into work after your girlfriend's released an OnlyFans day before yeah, yeah. that'd be just long day, I'd be whacking long it up day. on a screen every pod bro. yeah <laughs> Why brutal. would you do that? Just to show, remind him. <laughs> oh right, okay. What you say then? <laughs> what? <laughs> Belle Delphine lives near me, um, and she uh, she was going on Louis Theroux's podcast. Saw that she was talking about how the weirdest thing is like old people from school buying it and messaging you. Yeah, it's like you don't want that, do you? Like old neeks uh, from back in the day watching. I you. mean, she's she's a she's a, a very intelligent. Is Bell Delphine and the way she was almost a bit of a pioneer in her space, uh, and the it, way she utilized, she realized that as much as you need to focus on OnlyFans, it's actually the other stuff to promote yeah. OnlyFans. So was everyone, the, the bathwater was absolute genius. Yeah. I wanted to do that. I was, I, so I was thinking about making, like, I was going to market it as from the folds of my scrotum, official Ooh. Rufus Rice bathwater. I just don't think it would sell well. Can you sell your own pubes? Yes, I've got a lot yes. of them. Guess you can. That's Is there a the market thing. for that? There's for, only one way to find out. Beards. No, because oh, they and they got good properties about them. They give you a test boost with a quick sniff. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. But if you the thing about Belle Delphine, which is quite interesting, is like her YouTube videos, right? Like that she made to promote them, like not porn. Obviously, there's some. They're a bit like fruity, but what sort of videos did Belle Delphine make? What, were, making, they, were they like, were they were they ego ego music videos that were just they weren't they were suggestive. It wasn't like full on porn, but it was her like sitting on cakes and stuff. But not right. nothing pornographic about it. It was almost performance art, if I'm t- <laughs> if I'm honest. Like you're watching this, and you're like, this is like creative. Like what's going on? This is not. You had a vision. newfound respect for her, did you? I respect her as an artist. I can appreciate that. I, I can't. I can't say I have. I, I've never bought an OnlyFans. And that's just not actually. Let me tell you, I have bought an OnlyFans, and it was for a video I did a while back. And it was I ended up buying that. Uh, you know, Nico Avocado, Avocado. Well, you know, no, you know the guy name. Yeah. Type, type, type his name, mate. There's you no way he's got an. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. became. He, he had an OnlyFans, and I bought it, and uh, we were doing like a video talking about it, and it was. Like, it, well, it was really sad. But he can't even see his own cock. How is he going to take a photo of it? it well, th- that's the thing. There's there's a huge, like, feeder fetish. Whoa. Like, oh. Yeah, so that's what oh, it's all about. My poor search history, man. Yeah, no, you don't need to actually go on the website. Yeah, you, I just wanted you to show a picture of him so we we knew what we we're talking he's about. He's a here. big Donny. Probably had been on there before. Whoa, didn't ask fuck? for his cookies. Yeah, no, no, no. And oh, he, it's a cat. Yeah, it's oh a cat in, God, in a yeah. sofa. No, 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 but you see the original picture up there of that. <laughs> That's what he posts on there. His actual ass crack. No, no, no. Nuts caught the works. He's there like tugging well, it. I'm watching it. He, I, and I have to rate it for the video. How's he getting the angle though? Like, how does he even know where that is these days? Oh my God. He's probably doing it on like his He's MacBook. Got, he must have multiple cracks. Eye photo. Yeah. Photo booth. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, mate, that is disgusting. Yeah. But um, I'm gonna find look, myself. Uh, 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 we're coming towards the end of this. Do we have any dilemmas for today, by any chance? <clears throat> oh yeah, I want you to answer this, Rufus. Oh, by the way, before sorry, before we go on quickly, we congratulations about on Radio Rufus. Thank you. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. I was meant to come on here to promote it, and we haven't said a word about yeah. it in <laughs> over an hour. <laughs> Fantastic no. new show out of the Fellow Studios, featuring a bright upcoming TikTok star. <laughs> He has racist undertones. He I is a Tory. He says he doesn't drink, but he does drink. And I he's don't a drink. Massive he jagger. definitely does drugs as well. Despite and he's the also the host of Radio Rufus. Wow, that was one of my better intros. It's interesting. I feel like this is sort of a, a another point where we can chart the progress of my career because the first when I came on this the first time last year, that was yeah. the first like big pod I got the call up for. Mm-hmm. I feel like I've just been selected for the first team. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. After years of playing in the junior squads. And, um, you know, I was very much a newbie to the game. Didn't really know what I was doing. Now, now I work with you guys. Yeah. Um, He's one of us. I'm one of you. So thank you for having me. Having and me how are you finding to be part of the fellow no, studio. If you, if you could describe Radio Rufus in, in a short okay. paragraph, how would you describe it? I would say it's, I would start off by saying it's by far the most intelligent and well put together show in all of the fellow studios. It probably um, is. Uh, yeah. Without fucking that's doubt. not even, that's not even a joke. It definitely is. Um, 
unbiased viewpoint, obviously. And uh, basically, it's based on a typical radio format. So we do all the things that you would do otherwise. News, sports, games, all that sort of ordinary shit. But we, we put a spin on it. So the news is never relevant news. We talk about monkeys being smuggled, that sort of thing. Sports. I mean, next week we're talking about Punjab United. So I can't imagine it's, you'll, you'll have heard a lot about them. <laughs> They're not in the Prem, let's just say that. Um <laughs> You know, we play games last week. I mean, probably the first podcast ever to have played hide and seek. <laughs> that was so daft, man. No, you know, so one good. of my favorite bits was when you were there like, uh, yeah, uh, bad news for people in Madagascar. As yeah, the weather section, like... I reported about a storm in Madagascar. RIP King Julian. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, uh, it was one, there was one bit where you were like, yeah, 15,000 people have been affected. But um, the good news is it isn't as bad as last year's storm, which affected <laughs> yeah. 30,000 people. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Wait, they're on the cover. They're on the cover. They're on yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's the sort of thing we do. It's it's zany. It's crazy. We're playing a game next week I invented called Sodium Carousel. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, how's that go? So I haven't worked out the exact rule set, but the, basically the fundamentals of the game are you're not allowed to... You fill your mouth full of salt <laughs> or like you put a spoonful of salt in your mouth and then if any salt comes out because you laughed or something... Another spoonful of salt. <laughs> what the fuck? And you, keep, you keep sort of doing that until someone loses. And you've got Aiden, the producer, on board with this? Yeah, so Aiden, who works here at the Fellas, um, has is a character now on our show <laughs> and he's up for anything which is great he said like <laughs> it was a bit weird actually when we were brainstorming ideas for games he's like oh if you want to if the punishment for the game if you want to just like slap me up then that's all right i was like, <laughs> I was like keep, keep that between you and the missus i think but um <laughs> brilliant so what uh what's that out every what, tuesday out, out every wednesday at wednesday. six glad to know that you were in, uh, in touch with your own studio there absolutely um everything but, either goes out on a tuesday or wednesday yeah. here at the fellow studio it's a hierarchy so we kind of don't see anything no that's good <laughs> it's good to know you care about the employees um yeah it goes out goes out every week <laughs> and we don't i have i have such a laugh I have such a laugh filming it and it's, you know, it's by far the funniest podcast of the fellas. So I think you should listen. It's good. You know what? You know what? Well. Uh, regardless of that, there it is definitely in contention for. It's a top two set. It's a top two set. Which, which is the other one? The, this yes. one. It's either this one or yours. Yeah. yeah. I, I as can, the I can, best I one. You guys can decide. Let us know uh, in a comment uh, and go and take a look at uh, Radio Rufus. It's a real close one. Yeah, it's a close one. It's a very cool set. I feel genuinely like a vintage newscaster while I'm yeah. in there. And um, yeah, it's a good laugh. We put a spin on the podcast format. Hope you enjoy it, basically. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. So you guys can take a little look at that. Proddy, what is this uh, bit that you want us to do? Right. So obviously... Let's wrap it up with this thing. Yeah. Rufus's show theme is based in the 60s. So you're looking okay. back at historical events each week. Obviously, you had the JFK assassination on the first week's episode. RIP, by the way. I want you to tell me, you boys, which part of history you would pick yourself up and drop yourself in and be involved there. Obviously, we mentioned earlier about the JFK assassination, you wanting to be there. What moments in history would you have liked to have been part of? Jesus oh, Christ, that's, that's a great, good. That's, that's a, a fantastic great. question. I wish I wish I had a bit of time Mine to Mine would be um, the moment that Jesus Christ walked on the water. Well, just to see if he did. No, because I know he fucking didn't. And I'll be there screaming, Charlatan, he's walking on a see-through panel. <laughs> so, I know it, I know it. That's not about so you want to go so you there think, you and think he's ruin. like dynamo. I don't want to ruin it, but I think if I went there and I just called him out for it, it's like, look, our kid, like it's obviously just a fucking waffle, no? Like where water think people to wine. would start to revere you as like something from the future. Like, yeah, you'd be like bringing not you like take Jesus's place as the most yeah. important. You think person. I'd be the person to bring knowledge to those people? I think well, a butterfly could, effect would be too nuts, you know. Yeah, if he did I, that. I mean, we definitely wouldn't be here. Society yeah. would be yeah, in a different yeah, direction. If I took, if I took if, you, the if, Bible, you, if you showed them like your it phone, be a good thing. like imagine. I'd be like, this is like I've alien technology. Yeah. I've destroyed yeah. Christianity. Well, none of those religions would be around. Definitely. But that would be a bad thing, probably. Right? Maybe? I don't I don't like religion. Yeah, but think of like the morals and shit. People would just be doing all sorts. People, Jesus Christ gave them hope. Have you heard of the Iraq war? <laughs> yeah, but that, yeah, but there's always going to be another. There was some pre-religious guys on one side of that, I have to say. Hey, a I, wrong twice. I would like to have been part of... <laughs> I want to see if Hitler's actually dead, you know. Loki. Oh, that's a good one. Loki, I reckon he, he didn't, because they say he killed himself in his bunker. He wouldn't right? be around in the bunker. I'd like to be in that bunker. I want to see. I want to see. Yeah. I would have stopped him from killing himself. To so make that him we could have, we could have like toured him about and just been there like, yeah. here he is. 
Oh, that would be cool. Like, like a performing monkey. We yeah. Put you him could have had, had to go to prism and stuff. And they'd be like, oh, <laughs> the Hitler's here tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if that's <laughs> why I had in mind. Hitler club appearance, mate. Oh, but did you say club. Hitler club appearance? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking Hitler in prism. No, but by but the way, when Hitler I say that, sorry, I don't mean I want to save Hitler. I do, but I just want him alive. Because I just think that we could have done a lot more with him if he was alive. That's, we could have really fucked. Yeah, he I'm... got the easy way out. Is what yeah, you're he saying. did. He did yeah. get the easy yeah. way out. Whether whether he did kill himself or he went to Argentina, they're both easy. So like, yeah, we we want him to. We want him to. Although Argentina him. is in fifty uh, percent and over poverty, so he could be. In I poverty. do back the Argentina conspiracy. You know, I love the stakes. What about him going to Argentina? Yeah, yeah I, well, I, I like the Nazis as well. Did because there's Nazi swimming pools and shit from flyovers. Really, I, li I like the story. I just think we would have found him by now. Like, I think. Like, How old would he be? He'd be dead. Wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, but we'd we'd have found like evidence of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they would have. Look at how they found Bin Laden, man. That was like an operation. They won't fuck around. Arsenal fan. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, Getting yeah. the important Arsenal things in the fan. conversation. Who's an Arsenal? Hitler. Like, he's such a what, no, what people. Bin Laden, sorry. What people forget about Bin Laden is how much of a nepo baby he was. Really? Yeah, yeah. He comes from one of the wealthiest families in Saudi Arabia. Like Bin Laden construction built basically all of Abu Dhabi. Whoa! Yeah. I didn't know that. And he, he's no, like no, the rogue. Obviously. He's like the rogue uncle of the family that you only see at you know, like barbecues. Christmas. Yeah, he Christmas. just went. He just well, went. not Christmas, but not well. Yeah. Ramad Ramadan, yeah. I guess. Sorry. Off the beaten yeah. path. Um, but <laughs> but um, he he was like the outcast sort of weird guy who like, but maybe a fun uncle probably. And then mm -hmm. he just he just fun fucked uncle. off. Fucked off first to Sudan where he did some things in Kar Khartoum, and then off to Afghanistan and his family. His family aren't a big fans of him. Yeah, that doesn't come as a surprise. I feel like it definitely raised tensions within the family. What he was getting up to, slight split there. What, are his sons what would you? What, sorry, what would you? What would you be your moment in in history? I think oh, this is so boring. I'd love to go back to Live Aid, nineteen eighty five, and just have the night out of a lifetime. What? What? Live you, know, you know, Live Aid, that huge oh, concert where yeah. that had that like that iconic like Freddie Mercury Queen performance and like all the others throughout. Like, I feel like that's just the best concert ever. Could you pull this up on YouTube? Because I think there's going to be a lot of people that don't quite understand the magnitude of what you're talking this about. This is like now, the most is, important like, concert in history. This yeah. So this was Live Aid in, was it 1980? 80, 85. Yeah. There you go. Top one. And if you could just do it where it shows the crowd, where yeah. was this? Wembley Stadium. Wembley's. Oh, Wembley. Now this was like genuinely iconic. Like imagine just being at the, up at the front there. That's where I would want to be. Just witnessing yeah. this. Witnessing Bohemian Rhapsody at this moment. That would just be just unbelievable. How many people He's some boy, there? wasn't he? Yeah. Shame he's, about the age. He was a yeah. saucy guy, man. Yeah, yeah. He's mad. Like his drip is cold. He's he got that like, white beard. That kind of reminds me a little of you. about him, you know. Yeah, he does. He does remind yeah, me of so myself. so true. He gives me chip energy. Yeah. yeah. And I like that, to be honest. I, so what you would have liked to have been there and what? Was this just like at this moment in time was this like so, everything so they, they organized about. this huge concert for famine relief in Africa uh -huh. unfortunately all the money ended up going to like Ethiopian warlords and stuff okay so it only made the problem worse but great show and if you look up if you look up the lineup of who was playing at Wembley this time like they had everybody from back then like it literally star studded all cast the, all the artists signed up to play this wow yeah well, that's a good shout, to be fair. That's up there. I don't know. I feel like I just have a class time, but I feel like there are, are more important things of course. To, to actually go and do. Well, like, you could find out anything, like who the Zodiac Killer is. Like Yeah, loads of bits. You could, you, there's so much you could do with it. Oh, yeah. What is it's something the, unexplained that you need to know the answer to? Madeline McCann. No, because I just feel like you're going to be told one of two things there and you're just there like, so you get told like, oh, they did it and then they didn't do it. You'll be like, oh, okay, fine. Mm. Kind of had a half feeling about that anyways. What's something where it's there like, they're like, it just doesn't make any sense. And I, I like, I have no idea what it could be and I need to know the answer. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like the theories are so widespread. I mm. feel like those are the best. Oh, I go back to out. the dinosaur age, find out what a T-Rex really sounded like because they say it sounded like a bird. 
That's such useless information. That's crap, though. No, but, but then like, I know. If you would come to me and go, Cal, they actually sound like, Ca-ca. I'd be like, oh, right, well. Fair. Cool. Well, right, you what you about- have the opportunity to solve one of the world's great unknown mysteries. Yeah. And you choose it to All work right, out I'll how go back right to. Now. I know what mine is. Maybe like a couple hundred thousand years ago or whatever, find out like the moment where they say apes were evolving to humans and figure out if evolution was really real. We, I, I think we know that. that yeah, but there are a lot of people that don't believe that. Yeah, but, even, but they, they, you'll turn around you, and you'll go, you, "Oh, it's real," and then you'll come back and you go, "Yeah, it's real," and they'll go, <laughs> "No, it's not. No, it's not." Okay, so I, I so all right, so you're saying because my I, information, tell you mine take, right now. my information I take isn't going to be taken for they're not going to take it at first. Well, no, you yeah, you got to be able to be like, "This is how they do it." Okay, so for right, me, right. I would do how they built the pyramids. G- great shout! I feel yeah. like we know yeah. that. <clears throat> no, we don't. How did they do it? people built the pyramid. No, it's uh, literally impossible. I back Joe Rogan's theory on it, how what? civilization moved backwards yes. and we were way more There was advanced. an advanced civilization yeah. at the time that got completely wiped out. That is, that is that is the only way the pyramids were built, in my opinion. Aliens helped them. And you'd like to find out. Yeah, I need to know. I just, it, it, when you when you go into the numbers about and, and the, just talking about how those pyramids were built, it is almost impossible that humans built them. So, is you really it possible? I know where I'm no, I, 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 I'm, Do you think it's aliens, though? Uh, I don't know if aliens is the right word, but there's certainly technologies that we don't have now that uh, help build it. Interesting. But it, 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 it could have been like an advanced civilization. I mean, it, you can literally just talk, think of it in the sense that we went down a completely different path like and that tree. got completely yeah. uh, destroyed. And then we had to restart and we ended up doing it all again and we went down a different path. And that's why we're here now. And maybe when this gets that. destroyed, the same thing will happen. I feel like I feel like there'd we be, just have different be tech. more evidence of that destroyed civilization. That's what the pyramids are. They, can, they can't just have those. And though. Stonehenge. You, it, there's just a nah, l- mate, Stonehenge was just a couple of druids on a weekend, mate. That's just druids like, <laughs> on a weekend. <laughs> What's you know what I mean? On a big one. Where mate, am I bit, going? Mate, on a bender. Mate, get on a bit of bag. You can lift those rocks. Surely there's some sort of alien <laughs> thing about that you would be interested in. Is there a back moment? To Roswell, 1947. And what would would you because that's a crash, right? That's the crash, and it's like the most famous one. But is what it, is it by being there? Could you know that you don't know now? If it was a Weber balloon or if it was a real okay. uh, alien spaceship. Okay. That crashed. I believe it was. Yeah. An alien spaceship. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking up greatest mysteries because I need a bit of inspiration. In- Go on then. That's so this really Roswell cool. one, talk yeah. to me a little bit more about it. Well, we for spoke the about it before. It was, was it New, New Mexico prod? Can you Google yes. it for me? Because I don't it know was the exact there. location, but Roswell, New Mexico, 1947. It crashed. They put out like a whole statement and everything that a fucking flying saucer had crashed. Reverted the statement, said it was a weather balloon, rocked up with like this evidence of a weather balloon. But it was mm-hmm. obviously all fucking bollocks loads of stuff got leaked and loads of articles and stuff. You can actually yeah. read a lot about this. It's very well documented. Um, but it's, and from then on, it became the most famous, the most famous case. Um, there's also something you could probably do where you could go back to um, some day? specific date around Area 51. Yeah. I'll tell you what I would quite like to do is if I could take something with me, Yeah, I'd, I'd bring like a machine gun back to the Battle of Hastings and beat the, beat the French. Because <laughs> obviously they won back in the day and I'd like to show them who's they, boss. Yeah, they do have that one over us, don't they? Yeah. Unfortunately, we are vaguely descended from a line of French people beating us at the Battle of Hastings. So if I came in and just brought some modern modern artillery, I could destroy them all with one mortar. Do you reckon Harold Godwinson died the way he died? That's niche info. You're going to have to uh, elaborate he on that. Appara- yeah. didn't, he was on horseback and he got shot in the eye or shot in the back of the neck or something with an arrow. Right. I, 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 Am I, I on the same timeline as think you here? There's is that thing about he got shot by his own guy or or not? Is that what you're on about, or is that Henry the second? He was the king at the time. William oh, oh God, Good, good knowledge. Look at, there, look, at look at this shit. Good I'm going 1066 God. Battle of Hastings. Yeah, uh, right. we knew okay. the date. I didn't know about 1066. I'm confused with William the second. I think. So um, what's his situ? What he just got chin, did he? Someone drew. a Drew a pick of it. So what was it? it? It was done by his own people. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a techie one. Yeah, that sounds like he got the wrong end of the straw, bro. Arrow to the knee. See, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst meme of all. <laughs> that was the worst meme ever. I said, no, I, I feel like I'd rather go back to a bit of a cultural event than a mystery. That's fine. Like I'd like to, I'd like to listen to I Have a Dream, for example. 
Something okay. like that. That's very profound. No, of you. Cool. Yeah, you're you're like quite quite tapped in. Oh, you know what would have been like mad to witness is when they played um football on Christmas Day in the war. Oh yeah. Like, See who won. I don't England. know the result. Oh, look don't on, spoil oh, look it. Don't spoil it. Don't, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> I'm, I'm still waiting for the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they said there's, there's, it could be a little bit of a myth that they say it's a bit waffle. Yeah, it sounds a bit too good to be true. There's a picture. But at the same time, I kind of... It, it, <sighs> it sounds like I almost... Oh, like my fantasy. God. Look, look look at the pigeon, man. They can't yeah, even, they they can't even keep their shape. Team, the they way. can't yeah. even keep their shape. Look at that. 442 got... That's what I'm saying. Wrong. People yeah. got on to me about saying Maradona wouldn't make it in the Prem. Yeah. Like, you, you the could, timeline's changed. You could play. You could join that game and like bang four goals. 100%. Yeah. They're playing Turn up with some up. Mercurials and be like, yeah. you lot have no idea. <laughs> What inverted four pack? <laughs> <laughs> proper prep, proper proper pep system. Right, look, guys, we're gonna wrap up there. Uh, Roof has been an absolute pleasure As having always. you on. Thanks for having of me course, on, boys. People oh, can yeah. check you out on always. TikTok. You've got your new show, Radio Rufus. People can check that out in the link in the description and on the show notes. But in general, as always, guys, check us out on Spotify and all audio platforms. Follow us. Peace. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I've given you about twenty things to do there. I'm sure you can do more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye.